Yeah. All right, we're on. All right, you know, with the Hebrew Israelites, we out here another Saturday once again. Prophesy, the downfall of America, wake our people up. That's right. You know, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, who are the true Israelites the Bible speaks of. That's right. That came out of Egypt, man. It became, a, it became a nation of slavery. All right, both sides are about to lift that slavery up. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakak Fadash. Brak the Yahweh, Brak the Yahweh Shai, Brak the Yahweh, Brak the Yahweh Shai. All praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Right, the double honor to the apostles, all of the great millstone that taught his word. Yeah, we're just going to get right into it, man. Get that Proverbs 1 and 20. You got it out? We got it. You got it? I got it. Proverbs! Okay. Chapter 1, yeah, got it. And 20. Wisdom cried without, she uttered her voice in the streets. Yeah, wisdom cried without, so she uttered her voice in the streets. What's her voice, man, is the prophets speaking of the breaking down this Bible, man. The truth right. of this Bible, in the streets. Because that's where you need to be at, all right? So that people can see us. Really, so we can approve our faith, show our faith, see how about should be outside. That's right. Because we're respectable into this world. Man. Yeah, the Lord commanded us to... Go to the highways and the byways and bid the elect for the marriage. Huh. And the scripture says, freely have you been uh, freely have you been given, given, freely give. Yeah, freely you're supposed to give. Yeah, we, we don't charge you for this truth, man. We don't charge you for the word. It's freely given to us, we're freely giving it to you on the streets and on YouTube. Man. Yeah, we ain't supposed to store up the wisdom of Yahweh Shem Shah for ourselves. We're supposed to declare it. You know? Yeah, or hide it in a napkin, you know. We'll be on the streets to declare it to the world, man. Mainly to wake up our wake up to two third. I mean the uh the elect. Two right. thirds of people aren't going to get it. They weren't set up to get it. You know, it's, uh, the comfort, the spirit of truth, the world can't receive that. You know? Well, it says, Wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. She cried in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates, and in the city she uttered her words. She yeah, cried in the chief place of concourse, man. Right here where all the businesses are going on. People walking up and down the street. That's right. Saturday afternoon. Have their work off, we got here shopping. This is where our people is at. So we gotta come out here to the cheap place of Yeah, the bar, the, the marketplace. Yep. The marketplace, that's where mainly people are. So we gotta go where the people are and proclaim this truth, man. And let them know, hey, the Lord is coming back. The prophecies are coming to pass. That's right. You, know, you ain't been hiding under a rock. You know what's going on over there in uh, Europe, man, with Russia. Yeah. And that situation is steadily increasing more and more. Wars, rumors of war. Yeah, you got the Lord visiting Florida over there, uh, Hurricane yep. Ian. Got hurricane, got the earthquakes going yep. on. Yep. Uh, right. yeah, you have, uh, you have, you have a, let me just read the title, that's it. Uh, Putin signs treaties on accession of former Ukrainian regions to Russia. That's that, uh, we're, we're seeing prophecy being unfolded right in front of our eyes. That's Ezekiel 38, the Lord putting the hooks into the jaws. Yep. All right, bring it Russia into that Soviet Union mm -hmm. that they used to be in. All right, so all these nations that used to be a part of the, the Soviet Union that broke off, Russia, the Lord put the spirit on the Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, to gather all these nations back, man. That's why you have this war with Ukraine. That's right. That's you right. have people that do not understand these things. That's why they want to protest and say, no, no war, no war. But you don't understand that this is Bible prophecy, man. Yep. All right, and this is why... The Lord God has prophesied out here, the wisdom, without teaching the warning of these things, and why these things are, uh, are taking place. Why there's so much evil in this world? Well, apparently they had a vote on that. You know, they went to war, and now they're trying to make it legal. They signed some legal document, an annex or whatever, saying that Ukraine is now, these cities are now a part of a right. Russia now. Right. But now uh, NATO is saying, hey, you breached international law. You can't do that. So yeah, this thing is slowly increasing more and more. Amen. So like Esau is trying to fight against prophecy. Uh, Putin said uh, America is in the West is trying to destroy Russia with proxy war. Right. That's why America is fueling billions of dollars to Ukraine because they're trying to they're trying to change prophecy, you know, by, by trying to put the bear back to sleep. But now nah, the bear is awoken, man. Right. That hooks is in his job. Biden, he was just on the news talking about, you know, this hurricane Ian. But then at, towards the end, he brought up the whole Russian situation and said that, you know, NATO is going to protect its own people. And recently, Ukraine just applied to be part of NATO, you know? Woo so, yeah, so America's going to try to protect you know, Ukraine, 
and it's just going to steadily increase from there. And information just came out that um, um, Ukraine is, is not a, a state of monarch. It's still under Russia's uh, control. It's still part of the Soviet Union. So for America or NATO to try to adopt Ukraine into the, the, their alliance, that's an act of war. Hey, you know, uh, it just came out too. Putin just gave uh, citizenship to Edward Snowden, the Snowden guy, the whistleblower guy. He's a citizen of Russia now. You don't have to worry about America. Okay. Yeah, I had a precept. This is uh, Proverbs 8, starting 1. It says, Doth not wisdom cry? And understanding put forth her voice. That's right. She standeth in the top of the high places, by the way, in the places of the path. She cried at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. That's right, right man. Out in the streets, man, trying to call to these fools out here. It's good to say our people are sad as children. Yep. So they're not going to get it any damn way. So don't, don't be dismayed, man. Don't be upset if no one's listening to you. Right. We say this all the time. This truth isn't for them, man. This truth is for the elect. Right. You know, your job is to wake up the elect, and the word doesn't go out void. Mm -hmm. So whenever you put up those videos, wherever you go out in the street, somebody that's meant to hear it is going to hear it. Yeah. Even if it seems like nobody's watching, even though you got a bunch of scoffers, you know, you respect the to this world. This is, this is the devil new. The always been out in the streets. Yeah. The city's always knew that the city was going to be destroyed, and some bad news was coming, the prophets would show up. Mm -hmm. The prophets were always out the gates, out on the streets, man. Right. And said, speaking right things, man. Okay, we're not out here telling you how to improve your life in this world or how to get the best woman, how to treat your family and all that, man. We are here telling you to get yourself right because this is the time of the end, okay? Right. These prophecies are coming to pass, man. The, the book, the a story don't last forever. You don't sit in a movie, in the movie, but when it gets to the end, it rewinds to the beginning. It keeps going, man, until it's finished. We're at the at the, the end world. of this thing, right? Yeah, yeah. We're right. at the end, man. The climax. Right. right. Okay. All stories come to an end, man. Yep. Even the never ending story eventually came to an end, man. <laughs> I got a free up. This is Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Give them warning from me. Who give them warning from the most high? Yeah, how about Shinya with Shai? That's right. our job is to be watching it. So watch out for these prophecies let you know hey this is coming hey this the uh the MOTV is coming mark the beats right hey this the system is about to, to collapse hey you know, world war three is on its way man yeah. we just broke down the news current events that happened this week man yeah there's all type of from, things happening i'm sorry i was right away there's all type of things happening man that's why yeah i was trying to say you can discern the the face of the sun how is it that you don't discern the time the, the uh the times, man. That's right. The signs of the times. Everything is happening according to the word of Yahweh way man. Right. It's just you dumbass people. You're distracting yourself with pleasures because you don't want to face reality, man. That's right. But pretty soon, it's made by no choice. That's right. I got this word warned in the uh, Adam Online. It says, to give notice of impending danger. Ooh. Get a picture of this, Ock. Yeah. This is the impending danger that's coming. And, and notice it says, Jacob struggles. So you gonna catch it the worst? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yep, yeah, that's it, Art. That's right. It's a impending danger, man. Yep. Time of Jacob's trouble. This is time. This is this, this, this destruction is for you two thirds, man. Yeah. yeah. It's for you, Jake. Say, get that Zephaniah, uh, the one and fourteen. Right. Okay. Hey, because the Lord has a plan for the rest of the nations and Esau to get their real judgment for a thousand years in the kingdom. Yeah. Right. This is this is for for uh, the, the two-thirds, man, yeah. about people, man. All right? Your final judgment, yeah, you know? Yeah, the Lord immensely bless you. You're going to get that last ask for That's right. You'll exactly. never feel harm again. Yeah. 
You know? So you know it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad because now is the time when Jake is talking the most shit. You know, only God can judge me. You know, they say that with, with, with a lot of uh like a skip rule. Right, exactly. Okay. But in the in the scriptures, when when the most high was judging them, what did they say to Moses? They told Moses, no, Moses, you judge us. Okay, we don't want to hear the most high's voice yeah. when the most high thunder. You don't want the most high to judge you, man. Because yeah, it says it, it, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power because can nobody can nobody uh, you can't, deliver you, you can't man. escape from that. If, yeah. not, if everybody will attach so-called natural disasters to the most high, if everybody will attach death to the most high, people will be walking out here in fear, man. Yeah. But they ain't attaching it to the most high. They're attaching it to it just it just happened. It's Mother natural. nature. Mother nature. nature. Yeah. How disrespectful is that? Yeah. Man? Yeah. Mother nature. Right. Fuck out of here, man. You can't even say father. You know what I'm right. saying? Say mother. Like things yeah. just happening on its own. Right. Nah, man. This is the Lord's story, man. Yeah, this is the mother nature punishing us. Right. Right. Give that Zephaniah. Uh, Zephaniah chapter one and fourteen. The great day of the Lord is near, it is near, and hasted greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. The mighty men are gonna cry there bitterly. The day of the Lord is near, it is near. As the brother just read, give you warning from me, give you warning from the howl, man, that this day is close and upon us, go ahead. Yeah. And it's right. for you two thirds, for Israel, man. That's who it's for, go ahead. That that day is the day of wrath, the day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of why, clouds. Why, why when you go to church, you don't hear these things? <laughs> yeah. I used to go, I, you know, I was forced to go as a child. Yeah. But why wasn't they reading these scriptures, man? You know? They read none of these, man. The scriptures speak of mourning, levitation, and woe. That's right. But that's not what you're hearing in churches. You're hearing happy, happy, joy, joy in the right. church, man. And it says, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, and a day of clouds and thick darkness. That's the playtime's over, man. Yeah. Playtime is over, man. Y'all are partying, burying like the days of Noah, and the day is done, man. Uh, yes. Even this wickedness all around, right? The day of darkness represents death and misery. That's what's going to be coming to this place. And it says, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. And it's a day of wasteness, wasteless, right? Yeah. The scriptures speak about the wasted. Right, exactly. You know, so how, how is this place going to be wasted? Like, what's that video game? Uh, what, the GTA? Oh. Wasted, <laughs> right. When you die, yeah. 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 Wasted. Lord won't waste this place, man. Yeah, yeah. And they call it waste management, right? Trash? Because yeah. this place is fucking trash, man. Yeah. The Lord gonna discard this place, man. Back in the 70s, they, when they killed somebody, they used to say wasted that boot. Wasted that Yeah, exactly. You know? <laughs> yeah. The waster destroyed. It's talking about that nuclear missiles. Man. That's yeah. right. The missiles that Russia has, man. The missiles that the US has. China. China has. Uh, India has. No. Uh, you know? North Korea has. You know? It used to pass the law and say that if uh, Kim Jong Un, the president, anything happens to him, they have the right to just go ahead and lock, shoot the missiles off. Man. And it says, and I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord. Because that's the point, because they have sinned against the Lord. Man. The only people on the planet that can sin are who? The Israelites, man. That's what the law was given to. Right. You, so, you made that covenant. Right. right. That's all. So because they have sinned against the Lord, man. So this destruction, you know, this, 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 this destruction is wasteless, it's gloominess, it's day of the Lord, the time to take a trouble, it's what you two third, man. It's being chased. Alright? And we're here to give you warning, man. It's all gonna catch the worst, man. You should have said that uh uh you're slaughtering like bad men. It's the ones that fear the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Those soldiers are coming for you, man. They should be like madmen sparing none. Sparing none. Yeah. That's right. That's show you that there ain't gonna be no spirit of compassion out here. The Lord gonna set the Egyptian against the Egyptian. You know, he's gonna have to worry about a whole lot. The Lord gonna put a certain spirit on his beast. It's gonna yeah. be cold, man. They're like no never before. The New World Order is uh is uh the, the motto, yeah, slogan. 
Yeah. Expect no mercy. Expect no yeah. mercy. Yeah. I got a precept box. Yeah. It's Isaiah 62 and 6. I have said, Watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. And you're seeing that now. The, the watchmen are not holding their peace, peace day and night. That's right. Man. Every week they're on the streets. Every day they're uploading videos. Man. man. Mm -hmm. this, world, this word has been published across the entire planet. That's what see how I said. Then the end will come. That's right. The word is taught across the whole four corners of earth. Then the end will come. So we're yeah. at the end, man. So where there's no excuse. No excuse at all. There's nobody that can say, oh, I didn't know. I didn't hear that. Yeah. Nah, you yeah. heard it. Everybody's seen it. Yeah. Everybody's seen the Israelites at one point in time. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's come across the video at one point in time, man. You can't say that you haven't heard this word. Right. They chose to ignore it. Okay, that's a conscious effort to ignore this truth, man. Because word in the back of your head is saying, yo, listen to this, listen to this, listen to this. And you like, nah, I don't want to hear that. Nah, I don't want to hear that. Nah, I don't want to hear that. Okay. Right. And that's going to be on you. Yep. Okay. And when, when the time comes, like, you're going to be looking for the prophecies. It tells you that in the scriptures. Yep. You know, you're going to be looking for the wine. Okay. You're going to be looking for that, for that hope. Okay. Answers. And it's going to be answers. Exactly. But it, it's going to escape because the Lord's going to take away the prophets. Right. The doors of mercy are closing fast, man. That's right. Let's talk about the famine of the word, man. Yeah. Yep. I'll be searching from sea to sea, land to land, looking for the prophets, yep. looking for the answers, looking for the truth, but you won't be able to find it. Right. Only thing you're gonna find is missing, man. Yeah. Let me finish this out real quick. It says, "That shall never hold their peace day nor night. He that make mention of the Lord keep not silence, and give him no rest till he establish and till he make Jerusalem a praise on the earth." Man, that's what we're waiting on, man. To make yeah. Jerusalem a praise on the earth, man. So we can go back to our land, man. So we can get our heritage back, man. Yeah. So that we can be the true gods of this planet Earth, to what we're supposed to be, man. You know, the earth was created for our sakes at the end of the day, man. Y'all wow. takes don't want that shit, man. Y'all don't want slaves, man. They don't want the now. Yeah, they, they don't want to build up America. They don't want to be a part of America. They yeah. want to rebuild Black Wall Street. You know, right. Just trying to build something here in America. You know, those curses are on each other. You don't know, take shit to you know, work with each other to be able to do that. You know, to build up here in America, man. Yeah, destroy it, man. America is full of blood, man. The whole land is, 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 is polluted with the blood of our people, man. Okay? So how, why would you want to build something on top of blood, man? That's why Esau goes so hard to try to erase the past. Exactly. Because there's a stain on his whole uh, uh, existence. Right. Now, all of a sudden, slavery was a uh, uh, voluntary servitude. Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay. Come on, man. We don't even know all the wars of slavery. We don't know everything that this devil did to us in slavery. We only know what they put in the movies. Yeah. Okay. And, and then after that, uh, with Jim Crow, Jim Crow was worse than slavery, okay? After they so-called freed the slave, it was worse, man, because during slavery, the, the, the slave master had some compassion on his product. This is his product. You he don't want to destroy money. Yeah. his product, okay? But Jim Crow, you just a nigga now walking on the street. If we find you, we're going to kill you, find you, hang you, lynch you, burn you. Cap, uh, castrate you. Who gonna stop it? Right. Who gonna stop it? Yeah. Okay. You know, they had to do that. Because Jake was coming up. You know, Jake was taking over. Yeah. You know. Because we're naturally stronger. Yeah. Naturally smarter. We just have, we're, we're just more than them. We're yeah. higher than them. See, but he humbled himself. He crouched low. Yeah. And he didn't, then he began to attack us secretly. You know, he's placing uh, crack in your neighborhood. Mm. Now he wants to talk about it, now that the damage is done. Yeah. He wants to come with the gang banging. He wants to, he made a, a conscious effort to bring gangster rap. So now, now he's putting your, your fathers in prison. So now he was attacking you secretly, man. Right. To where you can't really point the finger at him. You know? You takes in that time. You didn't yeah. really know what the fuck exactly. was going on. You were just caught in the mix. They say, just say no. Yeah, just say no. War on drugs is really a war on jank, man. Exactly. That shit should piss you off, man. Right. You know, that shit should piss you the fuck off, man. Be straight up, man. And now that the opioid crisis, now it's a crisis. Now it's a crisis. It's a crisis, and we have to do something to help these people, okay? Fuck out of here, man. Yeah. Like, get that, that rap music, man. That really fucked up. Damage it, bro. Yeah. They had, a, they had a soundtrack to the yeah. to the murders. Yeah. They had a soundtrack to the killing, man. Right. You know they were able to 
Yes, that music will put you in that spirit, yeah, man. Will. Yeah, it will. Esau knows about that vibration. Yeah. It has an effect on your spirit, man. Yeah, I remember Dama I used to always bring up when 56 came out, uh, his friend went by the gun, you know, just in case he asked, you know, uh, I, yeah, I mentioned something about his enemies. But uh, Dama was like, you ain't got no en enemies, yeah. man. But that music that 50 Cent was bringing out made Jake go and buy a gun. Right. You know? All Jake is the enemy. Yeah, fucking violent spirit, man. Yeah, yeah. violent spirit. It wasn't like that. They're always like, they got like an ex clan, you know, public enemy. We're a type of good rap music out there. Right. It's actually it conscious. It's a decent form of music. It's political. That, that, had, yeah, it had a message. That yeah. was hip hop. That's hip hop. That was hip hop. Yeah. Hip hop changed from hip hop to rap. Right. When it went to rap, it went to, went to hell, man. Okay, because well, gangster rap, right? Gangster rap, all right. But the the hip hop was con conscious, speaking about the things that was happening in the so called community. You know, uh, ways to uplift yourself. Like the, uh, the message. Yeah, yeah, the message. Melly exactly. Man. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it was fun too. Yeah. It was like a fun a fun spirit. Right. You know, Jake was dancing and shit, yeah, dancing. doing that thing. You know. But now it's a, about murder. Okay. Don't you see the girl that just that girl rapper that just got murdered? Okay. She was uh, that's the first time I seen a girl rapper get murdered, but she on her record she's talking about murder. Oh, the one about the babies? Yeah, uh, the babies. I don't know what she was talking about, but she was talking about murdering. Okay. Now that you put that spirit out there, that's what you're gonna get back. You know, and the Lord is the Lord is actually doing that. Okay, because they think they could come up fast by selling Jake out, giving Jake this type of, uh, of information, you know, instead of telling Jake, yo, man, we know we need to come together and do it. But Esau don't want to hear that. He don't want that. But you, you can't, you don't hear no songs about uh, Esau talking about killing crackers, mm -mm. killing killing Jews, so-called Jews. He don't hear that. Mm -mm. It's just killing niggas. Right. Yeah. Hey, just like that TikTok thing. Over in, over in Japan, I think that's where J TikTok comes from, right? Or oh, China. China. One of them. Yeah. They don't, they don't uh, allow debauchery on TikTok over there. It has to be something constructive. Formative. Uh, right. Okay. They don't allow the shit that they allow over here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Rap music is banned over in China. See? No. But they allow it over here. They allow that bullshit over here. You know it's bad when a lot of these rap artists won't even let their own kids listen to this shit. Like Cardi B, yeah, yeah. you know, how the fuck you gonna put out something that you don't even let your own children to? Right. Yeah, you a walking, you a walking uh, hypocrite. Yeah. I got a, I got two precepts. So, goes into what um, how they're secretly trying to borrow yeah. Jake. Yeah. Psalms, uh, this is Psalms ten and eight. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places do he murder the innocent. Look at that. His eyes are privately set against the poor. Look at that. Secret places. You know, so the Khazars that sit in the offices, the back offices coming up with all these different plans, how to fuck up the music and all that, what they do, think tanks, you know, yeah, privately, yeah. they come up with ways to destroy you. Hey, KRS was talking about it. He's like, hip hop was created as a revolutionary to lift up on people. Right. I mean, they got hold of it. They figured out, like, this is how we control them. Yeah. Like you said, man, it's all about what's ideal, the curses. We ain't gonna come up yeah. on this side, man. Yeah. Whether it be through music, whether it be through uh, the political system, every time you take this come up, you saw it's gonna be right there to knock you back down. That's right, bro. You're gonna build no businesses over here. You know, you're gonna build, you know, you're playing the vineyards and with the, with the wine of it, as the scriptures say. That's black culture for you, man. Culture of death. Death yeah. culture, yeah. yeah. He, he lieth in wait as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. He doeth catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. He, cr he crouches and humbles himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. He has said in his heart, the most I have forgotten. He has hideth his face. He will never see it. That's wrong just to humble himself. So he's always got to come with that, that humble spirit. Yeah. And you notice how it says, Draw 
They set up trap for you, man. That yeah. Is a trap. This place is known as the, the Valley of the Shadow of Death, man. Valley of the Shadow of Death. There's all type of snares, you know, you know, to destroy you pretty much. Mainly the one is is bow down to Satan. Yeah. You know, you gotta bow down to Satan. They really want any type of fame and money on the side. You know? Yeah. Go ahead. Finish on that? Uh yeah, I was you wanna speak on it? I have, I have one more to back that one up. Uh, this is Habakkuk 3 and 14. Thou did a strike through with the stage, the head of the villages. They came out as a whirlwind to scatter me. The rejoicing was to devour the poor secretly. How was the Illuminati founded? How was the Federal Reserve made? It was all done in secret. All right. How are the, how are the meetings to devour the poor? All right. When, it, when Esau gets together, the wicked leads. When they get together and have the meetings, it's about how they destroy these people, man. The Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, single Indians. They don't put it out there as of yet, because real soon, Jacob's trouble, it's gonna be evident that they wanna get rid of you. Yeah, they're gonna pick up the drugs. Right. But but with, with the drugs, with the gangs, with the with the with the, with the guns, okay, with separating our fathers with all to devour the poor secretly, man. Yeah. Separating uh bringing in women's rights. That feminist was all to devour the poor secretly, push out all this wickedness upon our people to, to keep us destroyed and keep us separated from our power, man. They know about uh, accounts like in Judith, the Judith the fifth chapter. They, they know about accounts. Like that as long as we keep their, these people sinning, except and keep these people sinning, they will be separated from their power. We we will have all the power to do what we want. All right, but little did they know that the Lord has an elect that you cannot touch, okay? That, that will not bow down to, to your your wickedness, that will not be influenced by your ways, that instead are gonna rise up in these last days and stand as boldness in the line rebuking you, man. Right. Yeah. Okay. I got uh, that word devour, this, this uh, definition. It says to destroy completely. Mm -hmm. So he saw his whole thing is to destroy you, Jenkins, man. Completely. Yeah. And why the fuck can't you recognize that, man? No, you know? Not just Esau, all the, all the nations, all, all the, the songs. You know, spearheaded by Esau. That's right. You know, they all came with one consent. They were all confederate. Yep, you know, I got that cut, right here. Cut us off from the nation. Psalms 83. I'm going to read the, the, the NLT version. Uh, oh God, do not be silent. Do not be deaf. Do not be quiet, oh God. That's right, because it seems like the Lord is silent concerning these matters. Yep. I mean, but now the Lord is speaking on these matters. Yep. Yeah. But at one point, Jake didn't really have an answer on, on why all this was going on. Go ahead. Don't you hear the uproar of your enemies? Don't you see that your arrogant enemies are rising up? They devise crafty schemes against your people. Mm. They conspire hey. against your precious ones. Mm. Mm. Calm, they say. Hey, crack was a crack, a crack of scheme. Yeah. Like you mentioned, the femi uh, feminist. That was venom from the snake, man. Yeah. That's crack. That's some crafty shit. And then uh, put artists out there like uh, Destiny's Child. You know, all these artists. Beyonce, all these artists to really hypnotize the, the mind of the women. Mm -hmm. hey, don't, don't forget about the alphabet agenda. Yeah. Yeah, the alphabet. That's a big one. That's a big one, man. But the new agenda they're pushing with these women like uh, Megan Thee Stallion is, I don't need a man, fuck the man, kill his baby. You know? Yeah, that's been that's out right. for a while. That's a new agenda. Yeah, that's been out. Yeah, that's they, been out, bro. Pushing that. Yeah, that's been they out, They don't need no man. They ain't know at all. Yeah, but now they have like the platform now. now platform, yeah, they're just pushed out now more. Yeah. You know, the internet, more people reach more people, you know. And to show you that the alphabet agenda was against Jake, who who they passed, what president was in when they passed all these laws? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Obama, man. Yeah. Oh. They called him the first gay president. Man. He wasn't, but they called him. They man. called him. Yeah. Might as well be shit. Verse four it says, Come, they say. Let us wipe out Israel as a nation. Mm. We will destroy the very memory of its existence. Wow. <laughs> and, and they almost did. They almost, it wasn't for, like the brother said, the Mosai's remnant. That's right. The Mosai, That's set right. Up, man. The Mosai always had 7,000 men that didn't bow down to cry out. Man. Right. You know? And how did that fit? How did that fit the so called Jews? That don't fit them. No. Because they're walking around here claiming that they're yeah. Jews. But, but the scripture said that we was going to be wiped out. Right. That the name, when yeah. you read the KJV, it's the name of Israel. Right. Now when you think of Israel, you're thinking of fucking Esau. Come on. The scripture also said that we would lose our heritage. You know what I'm saying? We lost that. We 
lost our land and everything. Go ahead, work this all my land. Another one. It says, yes, this was their unanimous decision. <laughs> they signed a treaty. Yeah, unanimous. Yeah. yeah. Wow, like the little boxes. You got the judge, right? So you, they all agree. All of them. Wow. They signed a treaty as allies against you. And then it goes on to mention these Edomites and Moabites, Ishmaelites, and Right, First one is Esau. Esau. Yep. <laughs> so that's our main enemy. Yep. The right. other nations are enemies as well. Like Moab, Ammon, Ham, the mm. Philistines. But but um, the main enemy is Esau, man. He's yeah. the one that leads the charge. Okay. Yep, he's the one that that lead, that's leading everybody. Okay. And he especially has that sword. especially the, the 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 Asians, man. The yeah. Moabites. Man. Yeah. 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 Uh, this one show I watched. Uh, it's called like K two. Had a uh, it was like a president, people running for president, and you think that the president runs the country, but in the show they show you he's uh, in, in a black room, it's dark, you don't see their faces, the secret room. That in order for them to do something, they have to go to those men that secretly run the country, because each nation they individually have their own elites that run the country yep. that coincide with the with the with Esau. Mm -hmm. All, All right? those elites of the other nations, they gotta bow down to Esau. Right. Yeah. But he got the sword. Yep. They don't want to go up. They don't want to go head up with Esau. Yes, yeah, why? See what he did to Ammon. That's yes, what I'm about to say. <laughs> oh, that's <shit. laughs> That's why the scripture says in Revelation, you shall make war with the beast. Yeah. yeah. You're having, uh, now you're having Russia, China, Iran. They're all getting together, man, because because they had to get together to be able to go to war against this beast. That's right. NATO and the EU, and of course America, which is be, which is part of uh, the, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO. Yeah. That's right. So the U.S. and America, they were on high alert earlier this, uh, this week because uh, Russian warships and China warships were spotted off the coast of Alaska you know, in formation. So they're running, they're running drills over in the land of Russia. They're running drills out there in the sea. Man. Yeah, but we know it ain't, ain't going to happen until that, that market is implemented, yeah. man. We know that. So we ain't like these other people. Their mind their mind's going crazy thinking the shit about the pop now, yeah. man. The chip got to push first, man. Yeah. Yeah, they could do all the drills and all that, but we know it ain't gonna go down yet. Yeah. That's why I skip to speak with wars and rumors of wars. Okay. You're gonna be hearing of it. But it says, be not troubled. Be not troubled. These things must come to pass. Yep. Must yep. Come to pass, man. They have to come to pass in order for our kingdom to come. Right. So we're waiting on it. Man. It says, uh, Psalms 37 and 12. The wicked plotted against the just. And guess it upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. Yeah. The Lord and the prophets, man, are laughing at you, man. Thinking that you're gonna come forward, come forward with your plan. Man. Right. But you're not gonna have it. Those guys gonna allow you to get into it to a little bit. You know, you'll get your enterprise off a little bit. Why? To bring in that time to take trouble. That's right. With most eyes behind everything, man. Right? Yeah. Uh, why do the heathen rage? Yeah. It's vain for you to think that either one of you nations is going to rise up and be the cream of the crop after Esau falls. <laughs> yeah, right. Everybody thinks that like China is going to be the next right. one to rule. Imagine that, China. man. Oh, yeah. Imagine yeah. that. They're going to be serving yeah. octopus and yeah. live frogs. Man, fuck out They're going to be man. worse than Esau. It's good. It's good. Cool. Yeah. You got people, you got Edomites uh, going out their way to learn Chinese. I'm thinking about the food. Yeah, yeah, man. You learn Chinese in vain. Learn some Lashwan yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's going to be the language of all the rest of the journey, man. we going to beat it into you. Yeah. Just like on uh, Roots. What's yeah. your name, boy? <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> What's your name? Esau. Esau. What? Yeah, that's a powerful, powerful scene, man. It is. That's a real powerful thing, because that's what happened. Yeah, it yeah. beat, our, beat, beat our, our nationality out of us. Man. That was just one, there was many forms of it. Right. That was, just, that, that was powerful, man. Yeah. yeah. When, just, you, when you come into the truth, it's like, wow. Right. Just like there were many Black Wall Streets. Yeah. Black Wall Street up there, that wasn't the only one. Right. Every city had a Black Wall Street right. because every, everything was segregated. Jake was everywhere. You had, to, you had to have your own shit. Yeah. You couldn't go to the white man for nothing, man. You had to get. You had to make your own ice house if you if you wanted ice. Or a movie theater. Or a movie theater. Yeah. A Dennis, cab company. Doctors. Bus. Everything. Yep. Dentists, doctors. Yep. Everything, man. Yeah. Okay. Jake, Jake had the knowledge too. Very he much. He saw so. go to Jake for a lot of things on the, yeah. on the uh, plantation. Yeah. Like
like, uh, yeah. you know, Jake was selling, uh, you know, where that uh, term of niggas making watermelon yeah. or eating eating watermelon. You know how they they stereotype the, the silver yeah. king with eating watermelon. Yeah. That came from in the south when Jake was making profit off selling watermelon. Right. So Esau got envious and he started making the mockery. bywords, yeah. uh, right. mockery. Saying, look at these, look at these niggas in watermelon. Yep. And then he came with the animations. All right, yep. Yeah. The animations right. with 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 a Jake, dark skin Jake, like very dark, big lips, big big, but but put it, he make it as a watermelon lips, you know. Right. And what's wrong with watermelon? Yeah, watermelon man. is good. good man. Yeah, and what's wrong with chicken, <laughs> man? Fried chicken, that's our shit yeah, too, man. Back to the scriptures. That's why you Jake love fried chicken so much. Yeah, that's man. That's our spiritual like it, man. Right. Chicken so, and bread. You like that's like, all fucking fuck about that fried yeah, chicken man. shit. That's our shit. Yeah, man. How you don't, how you don't like watermelon and chicken, man? Fuck out of here, man. Yeah, it's good hydration, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watermelon, man. Hey, everybody in our neighborhood in Mississippi used to wait for the yeah. water. The watermelon man come with his truck, mm. have all the watermelons on the back of it. Watermelon! Yeah, yeah. With the seeds. Right, with the yeah. seeds. With the seeds in it, yeah. When you heard that, boy, you running out, running out. Mama, can I get five dollars? Let me get five dollars. You know? I remember being a kid, man. We used to eat the watermelon. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah it's just fire, man. Not anymore, man. With the seeds, though. I never, yeah. as a child, I didn't see those seeds as uh, watermelon. Yeah. The watermelon don't taste like nothing now. It's crap. Yeah, ain't the same, same anymore. Man. Nothing ain't the same, bro. Yeah. Right. Even tell. chicken ain't even tasting no. that good. Right. I, remember, uh -huh. I remember I used to fuck some, uh, we were talking about KFC. I used to tell you had the bucket. Yeah. That shit tasted, it was decent. Yeah. yeah. Not anymore. Exactly. Well, I ain't had it, but you know. That's just that another sign that uh, America's poor. See, it was Kentucky fried chicken. Yeah, right, Kentucky not fried. KFC. It KFC. KFC. They can't call it chicken no more. That's what I heard. Because it ain't chicken. There you go. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, those are two worst things that ever happened to Jake, man. Integration and that gangster rap music, man. Well, that Fuck crack, up. that, that crack. crack, man, really was, uh, like, I would say the crack, uh, like you said, the gangster music, and I would say that's social media, boy. Social media, social media. Yeah. yeah. Social media is the new crack. Yeah. That shit did. It's, that's worse than crack. It destroyed life. It took away all life. Now people don't even want to go outside and socialize, nothing. You can be with somebody, and they'll be on their phone. Yeah, you talking to them? Yeah, like, bro, I'm fucking talking to you, man. Are you exactly. fucking watching? Oh, you, oh, you're on TikTok. Oh, that's more important. It's conversation. Hey, uh, no, it's your Instagram. It's another sign, man. man. Sign, man. The technology. I got a preset. Going back to the uh, uh, Black Wall Street, how we were being self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. but, but remember the curses. Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Therefore, shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai shall send against thee. In hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. Man. He shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until you have destroyed thee. When you, yeah. when you type in yoke of iron, what what nation of people has the yoke of iron? These people, man, had a yoke of iron upon the neck. Okay? Hey, and that integration, that was a yoke of iron, man. Because that destroyed our people, man, integrating. Wanted to wanted to be side by side with the enemy, okay? We had our own shit. Why you want to use this shit? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but that's that. It's a curse. It's a curse. All right, we I shall go go to the once right. I typed in yoke of iron. All right. Metal, Who do you see? Who's there? They got they got Gad and uh yep. Jake up there, man. Only Israelites. Esau has never suffered this. Esau has never suffered that. Let's read that one more time. Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which Yahweh Bashim Yahushah shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and and in the want of all things. All right, so now, instead of becoming self sufficient, we have to go to the enemies for the want of all things for clothes, for food, for shelter, for transportation, and all that. We have to go to Esau, man. Okay? It says, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Okay? God, that self-sufficiency goes all the way back to the Reconstruction period. You know, when Jake first got free of slavery, man. Jake was coming up even in, in that time. And what did that, what did Esau have to do? He set up that KKK, you know, to take him down. So you're not gonna be self-sufficient this time. Right. Watch that movie on Birth of the Nation. And I'm, yeah. I'm not talking about the new one. I'm okay, talking about the, the old, old one, he saw. the one that you had, the one that they make you watch in films. Okay. It shows you how like, they saw the KKK as heroes, 
the takedown jig. They but make you see that in film score? Yeah, they say it's like one of the greatest movies ever made. What movie? Yeah, when it's slapping the face, Birth of a bro. Na- the original Birth of a Nation. Oh. Yeah. Uh, they really say that in the film schools and all that. They look, uh, they uplift that movie like it's the greatest cinematic, cinematic feat ever bro. in history. Like fucking Schindler's List. Yeah. They used to make us watch that shit in high school, bro. Schindler's List. Okay. To have you sympathize for them rats. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, man. It was crazy. We watched slavery movies. Everyone in my class, no reaction. They never made us watch those slavery movies. But, but with them, with them fucking the Holocaust shit. List? Yeah. I was the only one with a straight face. Bro, what's up with you people? people? Tell me why every every I think every history teacher I had was a so-called Jew. Right, same, same here. Every, every history teacher uh-huh. I've ever had was a so-called fucking Jew, bro. It was always stinky and nasty, bro. Always, bro. Never had a Jake history teacher. Right. I mean, as far as history is concerned, what they taught us when I was coming up, they taught us that our beginning was slaves. Yeah. They're slaves. And we came from Africa, wow. you know, and we were swinging on trees and, you know what I'm saying? We didn't have clothes on and, you know, we were savages. And we came over here and got somewhat, uh, uh, what they call civilized. That's crazy. Big fat okay. lie. Yeah, we're called African studies, pan African studies and shit. That's where you're going to see the Jake teachers in college, those Jake professors. It's pan Africanism and shit. Yeah, that's where you're going to see Jake. Yeah. Okay, bug shit. the fuck out. Yeah, talk about Cleopatra was a queen and all that. Cleopatra was a white bitch. Man. See? When you really do the history, yeah. research, eat them. Wow. It says yoke of iron. You put a yoke of iron on an oxen, you know? That, that, we're the only people on earth that have been treated like an animal. Yeah. Well, yeah, they still get treated like animals, huh? okay? Ain't nothing changed, man. Nothing hey, changed nothing but changed, the fact bro. that we're able to be out in society with these people. And okay. information is passed out That's now. it. Hey man, with this truth, you're able to see how much more the heathens hate you. If you was in the world, you, you ain't gonna see it. You just gonna be like, like, damn, like, why is this happening? But you're gonna see it, but you ain't gonna understand it really. Yeah, you ain't with gonna the truth, you have to understand it. All right, it's my enemies. They're supposed to feel like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're gonna know who you are. When you're in the world, you don't really have that confidence. You don't really know who you are. Done. Even the saddest nature of our people understand it and realize it. Our people are dumb as fuck. No. By, design. By design. They want to yeah. keep on that low vibration. Oh yeah. Second yeah. like Peter said they're this they are willingly ignorant. Yeah. And our people just want to be dumb. You know, you know, but we understand it's the Lord that's you know because the love of the gospel is not it. Yeah, I say, I say ignorance is bliss. I got to preach There's scripture to say to uh, speak unto us smooth things, yep. prophesy yeah. unto us deceits. Yep. They want to be deceived, man. Je- Jeremiah 4 22. For my people is foolish, they have not known me. They are sottish children, they have none understanding. They don't understand it. they don't want to be under- they don't want to understand. It. Right, because what, what makes a man wise? The fear of the Lord. Yeah. And our people like that, so that makes you a fool. Right? Yeah, no fear at no all. No fear, man. But fear of Esau, though. Because that's, that's their God. Yeah. So let's get that Proverbs. Proverbs 1. Oh, that brother was there. You still got that Proverbs? Jump back up to 7. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7, and it says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. That's it. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge. Now people do not fear Yahweh Hashem El Shai, man. People like Kendrick Lamar, you know, they want to want to mock you know, our Lord, man. They always want to mock the Lord. Hey, the baby too. Yeah, all these all these are Yeah. And the scripture says, uh, "Wisdom bring it to a kingdom." So really, our people don't they don't want to get out of here, man. You know, they can't see themselves uh, ruling. They got that slave mentality, bro. Right. Slavery mindset. They see themselves making it better. Next year, it's going to be my year. (laughs) As long as we're here, them curses still going to be upon us. Yeah. Man, I seen this little TikTok video. It was like like a little wooden dummy, and it will propel. It will start working if you put a little coin on it. So you got the... The, the lower level employee, you got the manager, department manager, general manager, 
And then the, the worst that added the most worst was the, you gave one penny to the, the lowest worker and that worker was killing himself. And then the rest of them was killing themselves. So it doesn't even matter what position you get in this world, you're still a fucking slave, man. Yeah. Slave. Huh. I got a precept. Huh. So Malachi 1 and 6, a son honor of his father and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where's my honor? And if I be a master, where's my fear? Said the Lord of hosts unto you, O priest that despise my name. And you say, where have we despised thy name? So, so if the Lord be our master, the Lord be our father, where's the honor and where's the, where's the fear, man? There is none. So the Lord is going to have to instill it in you the hard way. Okay? Because the Lord has it to where you can, you can get in line, humble yourself, yep. line yourself up with the word, but our people don't want that. Huh. So people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Yeah. Let's read that Jeremiah. Jeremiah, you know. Then we'll go back to that Zephaniah. This is Jeremiah chapter 4. Jeremiah 4 22. For my people is foolish, they have not known me. They are sottish children. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, mm. but to do good they have no knowledge. Mm. And when you go into that word sardish, you're basically stupid. Alright? Because that's our people. Those that don't know the Lord, those that have those that do not walk in fear, those that are wise in their own eyes, those that call evil good and good evil, you're sardish, man. Alright? That's right. You got it. Yeah, it said uh they have no knowledge, which is evil, they're wise. But to paraphrase it, you know, that's why the Lord's gonna have to destroy them. Like we said, he's gonna have to waste them, man. Because they're smart as hell when it comes to destroying our people. Yeah, man. They're smart as hell just to do any type of wickedness, man. Yeah, Jake, you got Jake that will spit, will give you some wisdom on how to do wickedness. How to how to rob somebody. How to kill someone to get away with it. How to, how to, how to commit adultery. Yeah. Without, without having uh, uh, that man's wife find out, man. Yeah. You know? This is why, that's exactly why the whole side is going to do what he's about to do. This is Zephaniah. Real quick, he's, uh, uh, our people are in, the, are in the mindset of Esau when he sold his birthright. He's like, uh, what is this going? What good is this going to do me? Just like, what good is this truth? What y'all are preaching? What good is that going to do me right now? Is that going to put money in my pocket? You yeah. know. They don't they don't see the seriousness of this man. Okay? They're, they're wise to do evil, but to do good, they don't have no understanding. It's a good thing to learn who you are, what's going on in this world. Good okay? Thing to fear the Lord. To fear the Lord. Alright? That's why the scriptures say you become like uh your father, the devil, man. Exactly. Who was a murderer since the beginning. I got a precept on that phone. Go ahead. Uh, it's uh Malachi 3 and uh 14. You have said it is vain to serve the Lord. And what profit is it that we have kept his ordinance and that we have walked mournfully before the Lord of hosts? That's the mind of our people. They think it's vain to serve the Lord. Like, what are we going to get out of this? Right. What, what profit is in this? They rather chase the bag. Exactly. There's no fun in that. Yeah, man. You know? But you were created on this earth to have fun. The scriptures speak of uh, uh, the conclusion of the whole matter is fearing the Most High and keep his, keeping His commandments. Exactly. That's what you created to do. That's right. So if you want to get, go against that, now you challenging the Lord. Now you got to deal with the Lord. Huh. They don't want to deal with that, but hey, you're gonna have to. So I want, so I want, yeah. So I'm an Israelite. Okay. But I'm Orthodox. Okay. Don't believe that we that, that should have the Messiah. You don't believe in the Messiah? No. Not okay, that so you did. believe in the Old Testament? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So where did you guys get these tribes from? That's my curiosity. Like, where did you... Prophecy. But scripturally, where are they? Because I don't know Mexicans to be Israelites. Uh, Genesis chapter 49. Deuteronomy 48. 48. All right. 28 speaks of all the curses. Yeah, and I got that. if you look at the Mexicans, and their, and their history, and their, and their present, they're 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 but where do you, why do you give a mission car instead of why these these folks Uruguay is yeah those different regions yeah. in South and Central America yeah right but, but going back I think Uruguay is part of uh, Jephthah is it not no 
jeopardize the back. Polynesian people. Whoa, whoa. Well, wait, let's, let's, start, let's start here. Let's start here. You say you don't believe in the Messiah. That's right. Well, you know the Old Testament is full of prophecies concerning the Messiah. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, do you know that? Yeah, we do, but I won't go with you on that. No, that's the main thing. Yeah, the Messiah is the main topic. Yeah. I know. I know. But have you that's been what we need to talk about. I know. I know. But have y'all been to Israel? I understand. We that are Israel. Also, no, I mean, have you been to the land? We don't the need land is defiled. It's full of bastards yeah. right now. What's the point over there? there? But listen, hold up. Why you don't want to talk about the Messiah? Well, we can't talk about the Messiah, and I'd love to stay and talk about the Messiah. Uh, no, no, see, no. See. But my son's in the car, and I made him yeah, a promise see, see. that I would get him to. That ain't fair. That ain't fair. No, no, no. Let me just tell you why. Uh, because if you go back and you read the line of, if you read about the line of Jedediah, I mean, I mean not, not Jacob, but of um, Jedediah, Jokaniah. Okay. What does it say? It says that no descendant of Jokaniah can sit on the throne of David. And Yeshua was a, was a, was a, was a, was a You said his name is what? Jokaniah. No, I'm saying you said the Messiah's name is what? Well, we, Yeshua, I think y'all call him Altar or something else. Nah, we never said nothing like that. Whatever you call him. But anyway, there has to be 12 things that take place before the Messiah can come. What are those Both things? Both 12 things have not occurred. What are those things? Uh, I don't know all of them, but Are you talking them, about the first coming or the second coming? The first coming. Why, first what? of all, we have to be back in the land. There has to be peace in Israel. Uh, there has to be. We were in our land when the Lord came. These, these, these tri prominently these three tribes right here: Judah, Benjamin, okay, and Levi. Okay, well, we say Benjamin is in South Carolina. The Benjamites what do you came mean, over. South Carolina? Well, we say Judah, Levi, and Benjamin when they were exiled, and they were the last three tribes to leave Israel. Yeah. Right. These three tribes went into slavery here in the New World. Yeah. Judah is here, us, pretty much in parts of North America. Uh -huh. The Benjamites are pretty much in North America, in the western city of the East Coast. Uh, West Indies. We say pretty much uh, South Carolina to their near. We say they're in the United States. Uh, Orthodox. And we say Levites, are, we say those are the Germans. Well, Asian, I don't know what you learn under. Well, we say the Levites, the hate. The Levites, most of them were lost the diaspora and jumped overboard when they went in the Middle East. Where you learn from? That, well, learn I used to live in Atlanta, and okay. I studied like three years. So. And you don't I, believe in the Messiah? No. Right. So, who's coming, out, wait, so who's going to save you out of captivity? Who's covering okay. your sins? Who's so, going to save you out of captivity? Who's going to save us out of captivity is... We, first of all, we have a right to return to the land now. Who's going to save you out of captivity? Who's going to save us out of captivity is we believe we're going to save ourselves as the Messiah. How are you going to save yourself? Let me finish. Let me finish. So we believe that uh, 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 China and Russia are going to unite. And they're going to form. There's going to be a rumor for a year. And then the following year, they're going to take the American stand. And, and during that time, we have either we're going to die here or we're going to leave here. We're going back to You're going to die here. So you're going to die here. My mom says dying here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Either die here or leave here. So a lot of us are going to leave here. How you going to leave here? By, let me finish. Either by boat or by plane or whatever. You they're think the so-called white man going to let wait, you do that? Wait, wait, wait. And they're going to drop us off in the land of Israel, out where the satellites can't go. Yeah. I'm just telling you. Yeah. Well, I'm just telling you. So, you know, we believe. Yeah. We believe the Messiah, which we know his name is Yahweh Shai, yeah. which okay. means he is the savior, he's the deliverer of these right. people. Right. He's going to come back in what you call a UFO. And he's going to call us into them ships. We don't need the white man's boats. We don't need the white man's plane. We don't need the white man's Okay, country. so how, how are we going to go into the trailer? We're going to bring them back to the satellites. No, no, we didn't say nothing about satellites. But when I mean, the Lord comes okay. back, he has enough power, he's going to shut all this shit down. Okay. And America's going to be destroyed by nuclear fire. Right. In right. World right. War III. Right, right, right. right. Okay? But we're going to be, we believe and we're going to be in the land of God. See, now, wait, wait, you're not believing in the New Testament and the Messiah. No, you believe you're leaving a big chunk out. Yeah. You're leaving a lot. Of, so what about the mark of the beast? What's the mark of the beast? Well, I'm sorry. Because the Old Testament doesn't speak of a New Testament. What's the mark of the beast? The mark of the beast There wasn't is, no. There wasn't no New Testament when John was on the island of Patmos yeah. receiving that those prophecies. What's the mark of the beast? We don't believe that was a well, we don't believe New Testament. You lost, honey. Testament. You yeah, lost. Lost, man. You, you were Israelite, so, but you so, lost. So, you know? what, what? You came up here. Because I do so, want to hold on, hold on. You want to tell us something? You, we should believe what you, what you're saying. No, I'm just saying I'm an Old Testament believer. I'm saying I don't believe in the you're, Testament. you're an Old Testament believer. Yeah. So we should believe what you believe. Because you came up here. You, you, I'm just hope. saying no. I, 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 I. So I'm we should, saying. we should stop teaching the New Testament. 
And how are you forgiven for your sins? Well, because you're not doing yeah, no sacrifices. Yeah, forgives you for your sins. But yeah. you're not doing no sacrifices. No, we're not. So how yeah. are you cleansed from your sins? Yeah, you for your sins. But how? Yeah, God forgives you. You used to have the Levites. You have to do sacrifices. That's back in the day. We don't do that now because we don't have a. But land. the Messiah, according to you, the Messiah didn't come. No, right. not yet. No. Give me John uh, one and uh. John. Well, whatever. Okay, one and seventeen. Okay. Oh, okay. And then I gotta go. I promised my son I wasn't gonna do it. You lost, baby girl. Just, Let's go. John 1 and 17. Uh, John chapter 1. But I got a question. Verse, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right. John chapter 1, verse 17. For the law was given by Moses. Right, the law right. was given by Moses, right. which we couldn't keep the law completely. But, you can't keep the law. You ain't keeping the law right not, now. Not 630 go ahead. Right now. But grace and truth came by Yahweh Shah and Mashiach. The Messiah. So that's where the grace came in at. Okay. Him going on the cross and dying for our transgression. First of all, he didn't die on the cross. He died on the tree. The cross was independent until Constantine 600 years okay. later. Okay. No, what? No, no, no. Okay. He did not. I thought you didn't believe yeah. the Messiah. I, did, I, did I thought the Messiah didn't no, come. No, but he didn't. He did not die on the cross. Well, where did he die? He died on a tree. Well, I Who thought he would come. Die? The Messiah? Okay. Messiah. No. Oh, okay. Because wait a minute. Okay. You Tree. You want to see the tree? Go to Israel. What are we talking go about? To the, oh, go to the land. What are we talking about? Yeshua. Well, I thought you're he didn't come Messiah. though. Must, no. Okay. So we look at it. We say it this way. There was a man that was a prophet. Who? Yeshua, Jesus, whoever you want to call him. He was a prophet, but he was the forerunner of the of the, of the, of the Messiah. He was not the actual Messiah. Because again, what does the Messiah mean? What does Messiah mean? Messiah. It's supposed to mean change agent for our agent of God. No. We've had more than one Messiah. Malcolm was the How Messiah. we have more than one Messiah? Messiah? Are you serious? Yeah. Because he was their prophet. They mm -hmm. came to bring us out. She said, said Martin Luther King wait, was the Messiah. No, 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 no. He was not. But you just Messiah, said that. Wait. Let me finish. Martin came to bring us peace here. A Messiah is a change agent. Martin Luther King was a homosexual. But he was a homosexual. Okay. We don't know that unless you slept with him. What you don't mean? know that. You don't this is this is this is well, knowledge. And, and this is right. no knowledge. Right. Hey, the and Lord and said, Old Testament does say that anybody that says I have a dream, I have a dream is not sin. Right? We understand. The book of Jeremiah. We just say it. Yeah. But if you read Matthew ten one through five, I thought you didn't believe in the New know, Testament. But though. Wait, let's but read it. Let's read it. Ten ten thirty five. Ten. We know what that says. Let's read it. But also, Yeshua said not to go into the house of. The stranger. You know what I'm saying? The Messiah. You said. Why the Messiah? The prophet said. But you're quoting the New Testament. Let's go. Let's go. I'm the New Testament. Listen, I was born a Christian. Yeah. Okay. And as the years went on, and long story short, and we started studying, and we. I will tell you my story next week. But. Started reading. I used to be Messianic. But as I started reading, and I went back on Old Testament, and I really started studying. I realized, and I started putting all the Testament scriptures together, and then I went to the people in the land, and sat with the people of Pomona, and I read, and I walked, and I looked, and I researched, I became one of God. All right, let's read God. Matthew 10. Yeah. You said Matthew 10? 10, 1 through 5. 1 through 5, yeah. right. So Matthew 10, 1 through 5. And when he had called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits. So you believe these people never existed? You said John never, you believe John never, all right, let's go. To cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness, and all men of disease. Now the names of the twelve apostles are these: the first Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew his brother, Keep going. Keep going. James Keep going. the son of Zebedee, Zebedee. Yeah. and John his brother, Philip and Bartholomew, yeah. Thomas and Matthew the publican, James the, the son of Alphaeus, and Slaughter. Uh, uh, and lovely us. Go to the part where it says, do not go. That's five. Yeah. That's five. Then, verse five. Then these twelve, Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Stop. Uh -huh. Who are the Gentiles? The other nations. Right. What other nations? Maybe one that's not Israelite. Like. Go, to, go to Genesis. Genesis, I think it's the, I need to have my own Bible. Ten chapter. It specifically tells you, go to Genesis, the ten chapter. Verse 1 through 5, it tells you specifically that the Jephthah's children are the Gentiles. Now, if you look at that, Jephthah? Yeah, Jephthah's children. So, all of those people that were Jephthah's children, those are countries. Those are not actually human beings. You look it 
up. You got, you got, um, turn to it, Genesis. It tells you exactly. You gotta learn again. No, 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 no. It tells you exactly who Jephthah's children were. Jeff, and, Jephthah? Yeah, Jephthah. Yeah, that was, that was the actual nation of tribe. Those were the Polynesians. People over there no, in Hawaii. No, 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 no. Yeah, look at that. No, no, no. They, no, no, no. Those type of people no, no, used to no, live no. where Europe was. They are Europeans. Europeans are the Gentiles. Can we read something out of the New Testament for you? I know, I know you don't like it, but let's, we believe in it, so we're going to read it. Read. First Timothy 2, I'm going to start at 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, uh -huh. with shamefacedness, that's not the point. Hold on, hold on. That's and not sobriety, the point. That's not, the not point. with braided hair or gold apparel, okay. or costly array, but which becometh women not, professing not, godliness uh, with works. Go ahead. Okay? Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection, uh, but I suffer a woman not to teach. You nor see why a woman not, not, is not, the Lord didn't. I'm supposed to sit back and yes, not say nothing. Yes. Do you have look, a husband? Look, uh, hold on, hold on. The Lord didn't impart that spirit unto you. Just like, just like women are not wait, to go wait, to war. What? I'm what? not smart enough to be able to decipher for myself. It ain't about being smart. In education. It ain't and about being read. smart. It's about the spirit of the Lord. And the spirit doesn't dwell in you? No, the spirit of the Lord don't dwell in you. You're talking about the so-called Mexicans and that Israelites. They're not. They're not. They're not. They're not. You're telling me this bro, he's from the tribe of Zebulon. Like you say he's not, he's not an Israelite? How's it? You can't tell me where you found this. That's what I'm saying. First of all, it all comes down to faith anyway. No, but, but it doesn't. We don't need it. We don't need hard, okay. concrete wait, proof. Wait. All these people went north except three tribes. All, all these people came over north. here, second to 13 chapter. Right. They came over here in 7, 722 BC on their own accord. Not all of them. Yes, Some all of them. The only one Most of them. Yeah. No. What are you one talking one about, eight. honey? And where's the tribe of Dan? I don't see Dan. The tribe of Dan is not written. Get, get uh, Revelation the seventh chapter. Dan is where? Dan is still not here. Let's read Revelation the seventh chapter. So you don't believe in the New Testament. So you don't know this. But you don't know You ain't you been to the land on me nothing. Revelation the seventh chapter. Revelation seven and uh, four. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed a hundred and forty-four thousand okay. of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Now let's read the tribes. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed twelve thousand. Judah. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed twelve thousand. Okay. Of the tribe of Gad. Or the, or the, or the, um, Seminole Indians. Seminole Indians, right here. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed twelve thousand. Tribe of Gad, North American Indians. You don't believe I that? Have a problem. Hey. Why can't, why can't all Hebrews just be white? Well, the so called white man is a Hebrew. We're, we're talking about no, Hebrew Israelites. No, no, no. White man is Egyptian. He is from no, Egypt. No. Like, so no. you know, who's Esau then? Who's Esau? Esau, Esau is. Job 9 24. Job 9 24. They weren't even a nation yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they weren't even a nation yet. Where'd you get this? So, Where's this? Okay. So when, when so nine. Okay. Wait a minute. But long story short, he took tribes. He took nine tribes north, and the three what tribes that stayed about? in the south. Where's that at? That's Old Testament. Well, what's so who is who is the Edomites? Edomites are the current what we call current day Jewish. They're the descendants. They're not the, they're not the Jews. So the so-called Jews are the, the Edomites, right? They're part of Edomites. They're part of Edomites. Yeah, they're part of Edomites. Right. Right. So, so you're telling me that the, the, this guy right here is not an Edomite? Uh, no. <laughs> are you serious? He put up the devil horns? Yeah. Isn't his skin red? His skin is white. His skin white. Is white? White. What does yeah. Edom mean? That car is white. What does Edom mean? First of all, Confusing. white just means void of color. There's no, no it color. doesn't. What does Edom mean? Color. I mean, no, no, no. Every color on earth has color but white. white what does Edom color. mean? I gotta go back and read a bit. Edom means, means red. There's only one red people on this okay, earth. I got one question. How much Hebrew do y'all know? We know a little Hebrew. We know a little Hebrew. But you don't know no Hebrew because you're calling the Lord Yahshua. Well, that ain't Hebrew. We don't call him. Actually, what does y'all mean? We say we're not supposed to say his name because we're saying it's not. What? We're supposed to call on his name. Save. Let's get Job so 9 and 24. Okay, wait, well, I have another one. I'm not down she, got, she coming in the spirit Job of Job 9 and 24. No, no, no. Job. Actually, Adam had more than one wife. Eve was not his first wife. His but first you're coming wife in the was, spirit of no, Eve. But his first wife was Lily. You're coming in the spirit Job of Job. Nine Job, Job, Job chapter 9. Oh, no, 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 Verse 24. Go, and then where's y'all questions? Read it, man. Job chapter 9 and 24. 
The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Right, so we know there's a wicked people on this earth. There's wicked people, but there's one wicked nation that the Lord created. Go ahead. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Right, what nation put themselves up there as God and Jesus? Who did that? Did the Asian man do it? No. Did the Polynesian man do it? Right. Who did it? No, no answer my question. No. Who did it? The so-called white man. Read the scripture again. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Right? If not, where and who is it? The so-called white man ain't the wicked that the scriptures is talking that. about. Then who is it talking it's about? We know that. Who is it talking that is about? That's why we are here. It's because of our sin. Because we disobeyed. We got confusion. Law. Wait a minute. Uh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Right. And he brought us here. And I remember so strange. I read this yesterday that he said, one way you truly know Israelites is they all have different beliefs and they all they all worship foreign gods. There's only one truth. There's only one truth. I'm a truth. You gotta learn Israelite. again. It's good that you know who you are. I'm an Israelite, but I don't but believe you gotta learn Israel. again. You've been misguided. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, do you okay? This this is the true story of the show. I'm a truth. So if you go back and you read Acts. Acts, right? okay. All right. Well, you gotta go back to this. But Another issue with his birth was he was not truly okay. In he in in a scene culture, before you marry, you have two weddings. The first is the engagement period, and then the second is the wedding, right? Kind of like the Hindu. So he was conceived during the engagement period, not the wedding, and that's why he and that's why Joseph fled with him. All right. But when he was crucified on the cross, go back and read that, and the centurions offered him gall to die. Remember? So what they do is they put you on this tree and then they knock you on your knees so that, so that the, your, your, legs, your, your legs come up and the diaphragm comes up and you suck. But when they got to him, they, they, they offered him God and he said no. He took the God from his own people. Go back and read it. Took his own yes. people. Wait, let me finish. So when they went to knock him in his knees, they didn't knock him in his knees because he was, he was already pretty much dead, right? But then they pierced him in the side. Right, to prove it. And what came out? Blood and water. There you go. Stop right there. Yeah, which is what? But you but missing wait all the blood seeds. Wait, 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 wait. And so no, I'm no. speaking yeah, of all of this. I think I don't want to do that right now. Go ahead, I'm man. Just, but I'm in medicine. When you what? are I'm in medicine. When you are dead, what comes out of the body? I don't know. The blood, you're not dead if you're not dead. You're dead. So the gall he took. The gall he took was that that was made by his disciples in Arimathea. Just as Arimathea went and bought that expensive tomb, took him down off that cross, off, off that tree, before the sundown of the Shabbat, took him into this tomb, and three days he got him. He rose, because his wife came to look for him. But I thought you didn't believe You said his wife? I'm just saying. Said Mary Magdalene, said Mary of this, Magdala. This, you said his wife? Was his wife. No. Yeah, All right, hey, okay, your wait, son's waiting for you. One your son's waiting for you. Your son's waiting for you. Have you seen him? Have you seen him? Wait. Wait. Look, really, you just don't have no faith. That's Look, all it is. Hey. But like I said, I, just, I, mean, I proposed a question to you earlier. Who's coming to save you? You said y'all going to save yourself. Well, good, luck good luck with that. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. There is no middle man. What does y'all mean? Huh? What does it mean? That's not what it means. What does God mean? Bible says that there is no sound, there is nobody to save you but me. That's what Old Testament says. There is nobody but me. Either I save you, he says there is nobody else to save you. Okay, let me ask you me. one question. So, when it oh. says, in the beginning, oh, the world. God created the heavens and the earth. Yes. Who is God? God. It wasn't Jesus. So we don't believe in that word. The word was Jesus. We believe that. We don't believe that. Why did you, why don't don't you believe, believe that? that no, because he wasn't. He was, he was a, he was have a you studied the word? Him. Have you Absolutely. studied that word when yeah, it says yeah. God? Have you looked yeah, up that word? Yeah. What does it in say? In the Hebrew. Exactly. In the Hebrew? Yeah. Yeah. What does it say? The word does not say that it was Yeshua or the Savior. The word does not mean that. The word means it was a it word. Says it was actually the it says word. Allah right. Which means you judges. You would say Elohim. You would say Elohim. Rulers. No. Judges. Plural. Not singular. Okay. The Most High Himself, when he, when he comes in the second chapter, that's when the that's when the most high himself, his name is mentioned in the second chapter. Uh, of what? Of Genesis. What and what's the Heavenly Father's name? We, well, from we Yah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, well he said he said you, he said, I am that I am. So what should we call you? And no. he said some people get, call him. He said some people say we no. say we call him Yah. 
up. You got to go up to the Hebrew. Well, the Hebrew Look, really, you got to be taught again. again. You got to be taught again. Yeah. Because you've been confused, baby. You've been confused. You're bringing confusion up to this. All I can ask you is, where are these tribes? No, you didn't come to ask us anything. No, you didn't. You came to tell us something. No. You're trying to teach us up here. You okay, can't teach well, us anything, all, young lady. You can't. I'm don't not disrespecting you. I'm just telling you okay. like it is. That's I'm speaking spirit. like a man. That's, that's, that's how I speak. That is. That's how I speak, okay? That's his spirit. That's how I speak, young well, lady. All right? You came up here trying to teach us something. No. And you don't know. That's why the scriptures say you must be born again. You, gotta you, be have a, again. you, don't, you haven't been born again. You born still teach it. Christian doctrine. No, you're teaching Christian doctrine. You've been reading the You got to be talking about the Messiah. You got to read. Read in Matthew where you sure didn't even wash his hands. And the kid didn't wash his hands. I gotta find him. I'm not on my screen. No, he was he was making a point. He was it was customs. But he didn't even he didn't even wash his hands. They were treating so they were treating customs as if it was the law of the most high. And he said, wait, you don't even abide by the law. Why should I wash my hands? But Jewish law says we must wash our hands before we eat. We must be Ain't nobody Jewish. Ain't nobody Jewish. Jewish law. Moses law. The law of Israelite law. Israelite law said we must do these things before we before we eat. No, baby, before you, we you do confused. that. Confused. We we hey, you are people. We we love you, but I can't, look. I can't go back there. She's walking. She's walking around. It's, around. it's Babylon. It's all good. It's all good. This is Babylon, Babylon right, right here. I'm perfectly dressed. I'm cute. No, you, look, you need a savior. You need a savior. You need somebody to save. First, you need to find a husband that can teach you the truth. No, I gotta say. No, let me let me say something. Can I say something? Let me say that y'all don't know what they're saying. It's hard I kind of dated in this life. I ain't got no money. You, you, you can talk to me all day about this. Can you pay the mortgage? Can you take my children and my children to college? What do you want to do? Why would you go to the white man's college? Um, what are we, we gonna learn over there? Okay, we have money. What are you hey, talking about? Yeah, why you say we don't have no money? It makes you think we don't have money. I mean, hey, how, how, how many of y'all in this? How many of y'all in this? Let me let me ask you something. How did you ask this? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, hold on, hold on. Does it? Does it? Doesn't a woman? Isn't a woman supposed to be? Uh, help me to the man. Yeah, help okay, yeah. help me. Yeah, help Am I supposed to be your help me? Help you meet your needs, or are you supposed to help me meet my needs? What does help me mean? I'm okay, you talking about what can we? Okay. Okay. What can we yeah. offer you? Well, what can me. you offer me? I'm supposed what to can help you offer me? me? First of all, I can tell you I get your attitude together. So you no, I got a good attitude. I got a good attitude for a woman like you. You need a man with some attitude to tell you to shut the hell up. Okay. Why'd you bring you up money? Why'd you bring up money? Because what was that about? I said because this is how I feel like you all trap us to be quiet, sit down, heads wrap, which we should wrap. Women don't have any say. Hey, this is the Lord. That's man. not. Hold on, that's I, hold not, on. That's not. That's not what we. But but you we mentioned have, mortgage. You mentioned like yeah, why yeah. you mentioned So my whole thing is the things that God has promised us. When He said we have promised us. Abundance, we can have anything we want, and even though we are in Babylon, we are in slavery. We should not have to be subservient to our slave masters. We should be equal or more than. If God's our provider, then you all are supposed to provide. We in all captivity. I gotta say, we're in slavery. Uh, Curses. We were just reading. We gotta go to the enemy for the we one of all things. No. Yeah. Well, you don't believe you in the scriptures. Then. You know why? So, because we should work together. What's your name? My name is Cecilia. Cecilia? We should work together. You and I'm gonna tell Cecilia. you, when I, no, when I lived in Atlanta. The community had. The community had. We owned everything. We had. We had homes. We had cars. What we happened called, to it? Why'd you come to Cali then? Oh, I love Cali. I've been here only about three or four years. All right, you know baby girl, saying? you lost, man. You lost. Um, we'll see you on the other side, but though. Lastly, my only in question right was, mind. where did you find these people? It's all Where'd faith. It's all. It's all faith. Oh. At the end of the day, it's faith. Yeah. It's our faith. Because we don't believe. Because we, we can know. go to the scripture and show you, but you ain't gonna believe it. No, yeah, we don't I guess believe that we God. know where any of these people are except these no, people. Hey. You don't know where those people are. We no. we know where they are. They right here in front of you, baby girl. Hey, this is brother right here. Try what, what, what? Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, bro. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, no, you're good. You're good. Hey, hey Gat. It's all. It's all Gat didn't go into slavery over here. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah Gat. I went to slavery. What, what does it say, you're Genesis? Hey, my father is. He's at what tribe? I, don't, I can't tell you that. He's from the tribe of Gat. But That's I mean, you know, how do you claim I'm not one of the Indians? Say it claim? again. How do you claim you're an American? You don't have no, you look like an American. I said Indian. it come down to faith. What do you mean? They look like me. Mm. American depends. True. Seminole, certain tribes of Indians look like you. We say they are from, we say they're from the Certain tribes, but you don't look nothing like an Indian. Faith. You're, 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 you're carnal. Faith. You're looking at the outward appearance. Well, Before I came to knowledge, I thought I was a so-called Negro. You are, but my whole thing is if you are, if you are, 
Goddamn, bro. Go prove it by blood and get your check. Why I need all that, though? Oh, you what need happened what? to faith? What happened to faith? Yeah. Hey. You don't want me to. You don't want me to be a gadite. You're not a gadite. Ga you, are, you, are, you, are, you are definitely a judite. You're either a judite or a bishop. Right, I'm an Israelite. Yeah, you see. I'm an Israelite. Israelite. But you're from one of these three tribes that got brought over here. Come on. Bro. These folks did not get that. They were already gone. So right, they were not light skin because the skin no, is not no, light. No, 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 hey, 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 hey,
Don't worry what you got the back. It's just like with a quarter man. Yeah. Yeah, because she's the means to keep it. That's so, yeah. yeah. The, the, the baby y'all about to have is, is the Messiah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Come on, let's All read right. the scripture. Uh, okay. Isaiah, Isaiah, let me read it. All right. Isaiah 7, 14. Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son. A young woman shall conceive and bear a son. Okay. And shall call his name Emmanuel. Which means Emmanuel, Emmanuel which means what? God with us. God however, with us. however, there's a bunch of Emmanuel's that have been like how like, like we have a baby like who so that prophecy ain't talking about the messiah not this one all right all right all right and next time we'll see you another time all right but all i wanted to know is where y'all i've been it's curious as to where y'all worry about it and then who where do y'all get your teaching from y'all ain't been to the we land get it from, we get it from the, the apostles of great millstone the elders of great millstone elders of all great right millstone. we get it through the spirit of power y'all by smell shot through that the apostles and the elders of great millstone gms that's what we learned under men in New York, the prophets is coming back and reincarnation. And they have not, y'all have not done Orthodox come out of New York? What do you mean? Uh, dealing with only the Old Testament? Yeah. You don't only watch one half of the movie. You gotta watch the whole well, movie. the Old Testament told us that wouldn't be a new one. Didn't speak of a new what? covenant. What? Are you serious? No, I'm touching the Lord. Jeremiah 31 speak of a new covenant. Jeremiah 31 speaks of a new covenant. What is a covenant? A See, we, hey, what we believe is that the old, that, 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 that the old testament is a government. That God and all that he's so talking about lost, all these baby, songs is a government. You We're lost. gonna have a new government. I'm moving Israel, so I can't tell you. All right, all right. What is Israel gonna do now? You gonna you gonna be missile food. Missile food. You gonna be with wood for the fire. It's like beautiful over there. The land is gorgeous. Yeah, the land, is delicious. It's, it's polluted by the the fucking we devil. Know, and they're gonna come out. They're gonna be wrecked up. They're yeah, by fire. And you're gonna so be part of that fire. So when you go over there on the ships that you're talking about, I'm not going by ship. I'm they're gonna leave. Delta over they're gonna, the white man willing to leave that land. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna, no, there's gonna be a war. There's gonna be a war. War with who? There's gonna be. Okay, Bible says that they have to come out. That the Jews are Jewish. That, that the Gentiles have to come out of that land, and we're gonna walk into. Yeah, they're gonna get out there by fire. They gonna willingly do that? No, there's gonna be a war. A war with who? Back and it's gonna be a war in heaven. That's what it's uh, gonna be. No, it's gonna be with the Messiah. Yeah. With the Messiah. You lost. Have a great day. And let me let me have read a great one, day. One, one one scripture. This is the last book of the old the New Testament. I mean Revelation. the Old Testament. The old Testament. Malachi, Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and the, all the proud, yea, all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord, and how about shy of hosts. What is that prophecy? That's Didn't nuclear fire. That's nuclear missiles. So where are y'all gonna be? We hoping the Lord come and save us. So if they come in the next three years, if Russia and China decide to take America, then where y'all gonna be? No. No, you understand. Answering. If if in the next three to five years America is destroyed, where are you going? If America is destroyed, we're with the Lord. Here. The Lord is coming here. back the same day America's destroyed. Yes. The same day. It's going to speak up in the, in the, in the, in the sight of the Lamb and, and the angels. So, so the Lord's coming destroyed. back. So even though, the, even though the word says that we're going to have warning. Say it again. That we're going to have warning. Right? Okay. This talking. is the warning. This right. is the warning. But the warning that we know that the, when the land is going to be destroyed, that we should be all getting out now. Because no, I, this I, is the warning. Okay. I what are you talking about? I'm, We're to I'm leave the land Israel. spiritually. I'm buying my house. We're to Israel. depart from this place spiritually. Gorgeous. The Lord gonna take us physically. First of all, you have the right to return. You have the right to return to the land. Not according to the white man. Well, yeah, you think that's not. Not according to the white man. No, nah, we ain't doing nothing on the white man's own. Right. So I need a passport. I need to go get a passport. I got a passport, I'm saying, but we all got to get a passport hey, you know and, and ask the white man for permission to go back over there. Hey, uh, they, but you just... got to ask the white man permission here. Hey. We're still in captivity. This is why the Lord sets up men. Are. This is why the Lord exactly. sets up men. Because exactly. you ain't got it. You, 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 you ain't got it. But confusion. You ain't got it. Listen at this. Revelation 11 and 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud. You know what that's talking about? A UFO, a spaceship. The scriptures Does refer. You, you know the Old Testament. Elijah said a chariot, the chariots of Israel. I tell you what. My son is getting ready to go into the space force. 
Well, you, well, you have to wait. Do that's not smart. Person. That's not smart. No, okay. that's that's not okay. smart. Turn it to the dust and powder and by the Lord. Gonna, he's going to monitor all the stars and, and, and yes. all that. And I do believe in UFOs. I do. I'll let y'all know if you see some space. I'll oh, hey, man. Right. So you're going to be able to see the Lord from a distance or he'll be here like? next what does year? He look like? It looks like us. What are you talking about? So the image the is right here. Revelation and Daniel's the second. So what did he look like when he came before? Why like, was he crucified? Same. Let's get it. Let's get it. Right, just, what do you mean? Long. You, 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 you. I don't even. You're missing the biggest puzzle. The New oh, Testament. The is that I, let me tell you what I don't miss. I'm glad that I have two you eyes. everything, I girl. The Lord have deprived you of wisdom. Yep, oh, just like no. it says you in Job. You've been deprived. Look, you put your son in a space force for what? First of all, my son needs a job. He didn't go to college. He didn't have the grades to go to college. So the best thing for him to do is he's got to be able to provide for his family. So he got to join the white man's. At this moment, yeah, that's going to fight against the Lord when he <laughs> comes back. Fight against he got to stop following. He's going to warn us. No, he's going to be able to take care of his mother. He can buy a beautiful home. He can take care of his family. That's what you doesn't want. That's what you want. Yeah, How about the Lord establishing a kingdom for his people? How about that? Having a plan. How about having a so-called white man in fucking captivity? How about that? I believe that. But in the meantime, you ain't with that. But in the meantime, you ain't with that. You ain't with that. All right, we'll see you on the other side. All right, we'll see you be. You gonna you gonna be there. You gonna be happy as hell. You are gonna be like yeah. Y'all was right. She gonna be like the Lord. gonna have her head down. We say we say that all the all the sages and everybody gets together. We're gonna ask God who was right. And he's gonna say, Look, one we'll day you're gonna bow to the Messiah. Watch. One day you're gonna bow to the Messiah. And you're gonna well, acknowledge. Hey, when if, you, when you came here. if you don't, he's let's read it. Get Revelation no, first chapter. Okay, then. You, mean, you don't want to know how to look. Alright, get Daniel. Daniel's get Daniel's the seventh seven chapter. Or Daniel's the tenth chapter. It's so, in there too. Okay, so if, if, if he looked like us, and he was us, why I think so bad with y'all? Oh, because uh, uh, of uh, wisdom like of Solomon. Hold on, hold on, brother, hold on. How bad with us? We're in captivity. I thought you knew that. Yeah, we're in captivity. He punished but, us. But, he punished yeah, us. Yeah, we know that. We know we're in captivity. We know we're being punished. But he also said that we should leave with great substance, right? Which is great knowledge, great money. We're not leaving with nothing but our spirits this time. You're talking about Egypt? Hey, can you we left with great substance in Egypt. Yeah. But that, that was then. Now, we're not leaving with nothing but our spirits. Supposed to be comfortable like what? Comfortable like what? And just reading and just sitting, waiting. Yes, we're waiting on the Lord. Waiting for me. What am I doing to bring it to my community? I have nothing to bring. We're bringing the we're giving a warning. Yeah, we're men. Yeah, we gotta go work. Yeah, we got families. But that's not. We're not setting our dream. Oh, I need to get a house. I need to get a car. No, we're not doing that. 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 I'm just, I'm just, we're waiting for but, the okay, and with all due respect, and I mean this literally, you marry women that settle for that. Say it again? You, you marry women that settle for that. Because women now, that's why, the rule, that's why, and unfortunately it's bad. Hey, bro, that's you why you're like, a feminist. And you're a feminist. And don't the script to say, well, lay okay. not up for I was for a yourself. woman selling for any goddamn thing. You can't provide. You can't give me what I want. How are we not providing? I, I got a, I got a home. I got a wife, I got children. I'm not living in an apartment because the land lord is over. He's a land over me. Y'all have got the lord over me. I'm not doing that. So, I'm going to get with you. We're going to put our money together. And we're going to buy this block. You can't, you can't own anything in America. You didn't know that. You can't, hold on, hold on. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this. Okay, listen at this. If you bought a house, okay, you bought a house. Yeah, give me my Cash, 200 50 million dollar house. Oh, here, you don't there. pay the taxes you, on the land. There, there's I know a cable that. What's going to happen? It's it's right. Right. Okay, keep so because you don't own the land. land. Right. So you can't no, own no, the no. house. Therefore, you got to pay your taxes up on your land. So you can't own it. So taxes taxes you don't own, own it. So so you can't own it. You don't own it. They own it. Hey, focus. They don't own it. But I'd rather build my house on that land or the land that my, let's say, this is how it should have happened. The land that my mother and my father owned or had in Texas or whatever, that they deeded to me or whatever that they did own, I should have built a home and communities on that land. You so know, we didn't, we, we didn't do, we, are, we do not do the right thing by our children ancestrally to hand down all this property because the Jews own all this Because we under curses. Exactly. You ever heard of eminent domain? Yeah. Okay, that means that what? Yeah, but why would I still but, 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 but that doesn't that mean that if you 
If you build a house somewhere and, and if the government wants to come and build a highway through there, they could just take it from you. But they're going to pay me for it. Well, but it's still yours. You didn't own it. Well, you can't own nothing. anything. You don't own your here. children either. You know how you can't own That's what I said. Right. You so can't own when anything you have your here. Children, but your in the kingdom of heaven, here. you will be able right. to own. That's right. why it says, lay not up for yourself treasures There's on earth, earth. Yeah. where thieves break through and steal and yeah. moth duck corrupt. Yeah. But rather what? Lay up your, for yourself right. treasures so in what heaven. Am I supposed to this do is every the day. treasure. Work this out, right live. here. Yeah. This is live. what we're doing. And this is well. a treasure. Yeah. This is what you're so supposed to be teaching your son. But you're teaching him to try to get something in this world no. that he can never right. own. My, my okay? son grew up in his life. We don't even know believe, that the Mexicans are his No, brothers. we don't believe it. Believe okay, then. We well, believe that. We believe that. All these people are black. We believe that these three people are right here in the in, in the Americas. Yeah, you explained it. It's okay. It's okay. Well, you got it all wrong. All right. Yeah. Have a nice day. But you'll get another. You'll get it another. Have a nice time. day. Hey, hey carry we'll on. see you another day. That's a prime example. Lord's an example of our people being destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Ooh, man. Ooh. Hey, but we don't understand. Yeah. Get that a second, John. We first came up here saying that the Lord didn't exist. Second John verse seven. Right. And she's a deceiver. So if someone comes up here, someone comes up to you and In says the Lord doesn't exist, man. Don't wow. pay no hey man, just break that person off, man. She couldn't say nothing against that Jeremiah, I mean that uh, Isaiah seven and fourteen. So let's get a, I but that was good for the edification, just Whoa. just to show how far our people are gone, man. Yeah. And that's that's who's raising our children, man. That's who's raising the children here, okay? Her son should have been up there. Right. Yeah, that's why I asked if she had a husband. She Not said, the way she talking. Yeah. So 2 so John chapter, no, that chapter 3, <laughs> verse 7. And it says, For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is come in the flesh. She's a deceiver. You know, she's deceiving her son. She was deceived, Some you know? Mean by these uh, false pastors, these false apostles, whoever, whoever the fuck she learned under. They were deceivers, man. They're gonna be destroyed for that. Go ahead. Yeah, she mad for you. And it says, who confess that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is not, is come, not that Yahweh Shai is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and yeah. oh. an antichrist. She's pushing that spirit of antichrist in the world, man. Why? She's deceiving the people, right? Who knows who else is deceiving out here? And her mind is sealed with a hot iron. There's nothing you can do about that. You can get that in uh, 1 Timothy 4. Someone get 1 uh, Timothy 4? Yeah, come on, come on. That's why two-thirds of our people have to be destroyed, man. Whether they come up, whether they came up under Christianity, I mean that Christianity shit, that uh, orthodox shit that she was pushing, only believing in the Old Testament, not believing in the New Testament, not believing in Yahweh Shai, man. Pushing, pushing fake names, you sure. They have to be destroyed, man. There's no coming out of that. I got it. First Timothy 4.1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. In the latter times that some shall depart from the faith. So now, that's another example of how we know we're at the end times, man. We've got all these false doctrines out here being pushed. Go ahead. Giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. That's the doctrine of devils, man. Talk about something Yeshua. First of all, she said she didn't believe in Yahweh Shai, but then she's pushing that, that false name of Yahweh Shai. Right. Hey, gotta read the next verse. Yeah, she's kind of bugged out. Speaking lies and hypocrisy. That's a lie, Speaking man. Lies and hypocrisy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was a straight up hypocrite. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. If, if we were to go through the uh, the prophecies dealing with Yahweh Shai in the Old Testament, we'll be here all day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. really, the scriptures say what. Uh, in the volume of it the comes book. in the volume of the book, man. It's written of it's me. It's written of me, man. Yeah. So the so the whole time the Alpha Shot came two thousand years ago, he was fulfilling those things written, man. Yeah. Right. See, that's why he said I came out to destroy the law, but to fulfill. He was fulfilling the things written. Right. And if you miss, if you ain't, if you don't have that understanding, there's nothing you can do, man. Hey, yeah. brother. And there's still more things that he needs. To Phil, that's yep. in the Old Testament. Yep. Yep. You know? Isaiah 63. She, Isaiah 66. My bad. Talking about she didn't believe, believe in him, but yet going on to explain when they pierced him, water and blood came out. Right, right. But I thought you didn't believe in him. Yeah. yeah. That's that zeal, go ahead. Verse verse 2. Speaking lies in the prophecy, having their conscience seared with the hot iron. Yeah. Her mind, her mind is seared with a hot iron. Yeah. 
a hot iron, man. Yeah. There's no coming out of that. Yeah. yeah. She, ain't, she ain't gonna turn around. She has to get destroyed. When something is seared, like they sear like a steak, okay, that's the way the, the Edomites like to eat their meat. Seared, right? They're cooking real hot on one side, and it puts like a scab over it, okay? Oh. So nothing, all the, everything is locked inside. Nothing can get out. All that blood is just locked inside. Okay. Run. So you have to be very careful when you teach this world, man. You have to make sure you know that you're teaching the correct doctrine, man. Yeah. The Lord said, man, you cannot add or take away from these scriptures, man. Or she's going to be a part of that lake of fire, man. She kept asking, what does it look like? She didn't want to hear the description yeah. in Revelation, the first chapter. Right. Yeah. Because it's the New Testament. It's like, come on, bro. Hey, I got confused. Can I bring out the scripture? Real quick, in Deuteronomy, it says, in the 15th chapter, it says, uh, Moses told of a prophet that should come like unto himself, and he's supposed to hearken unto him. 18th chapter. Oh, this yeah, is 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 34. Let your, let your woman keep silence in the no. churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak. Why? Because woman bring confusion. She was, she was speaking some dogma that she learned from a man. Some confused bug got ass dude with no understanding. But they are commanded to be under obedience as also saith the law. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home. For it is a shame for a woman to speak in the church. Well, she didn't have a husband. She said that she divorced from her husband 20 some years. Most likely she's the one that probably initiated that divorce. Right. That's what these women do. Yeah, men definitely don't initiate divorces. Yeah, she, she has a hatred for her own men, which goes back to the script. Yeah, she had that low boiling contempt. She's talking about, she's oh, a, yeah, you guys are broke. You yeah. don't have no money. Yeah. yeah. Nigga woman spirit. Right. Yeah, she's she that, yeah. Right. I noticed that, she man. She tried to push that in you. She was a dominant, man. Yeah, she came up here to try to teach us something, to try to put us down, okay? Try to make us learn what she know, which is nothing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you ain't talking about the Messiah, yeah, you ain't talking about nothing, man. Yeah, that's right. right. I ain't even gonna say the Messiah, Yahweh Shai. If you ain't you speaking go. of Yahweh Shai, you ain't talking of, of nothing, man. Get the fuck down the block, because yeah. really it's all about Yahweh Shai, man. That's right. Yeah. And the Heavenly Father is gonna make that known when He come back. Hey, Yahweh okay? Yahweh Shai, He said, "Any do not want them to rule over me, bring them hither, slay, slay them." Get that scripture, man. Luke 19, 27. Yeah. Get that scripture, man. It's all about you how we shine, baby. That's First right. spirit ever created. Bro. Yeah. Right. She don't, I'm oh, yeah. sorry, I, she don't know that you how we shine with uh, 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 Melchizedek. She don't know that. Adam, Isaac. She yeah. don't know that. She don't Solomon. know you how we shine with Solomon. Yeah. King Solomon. She don't know that. You know? There's just a lot of confusion back and forth. You know, at, you asking one question, you bring up another. We're trying to answer the first one. You she know? don't even believe that the people of the Lord are the people of the Lord. Yeah. So like, well, we can't do nothing with you, girl. I was trying to bring out that point with God. God is God in Hebrew word is God, which means truth. When Jacob was blessing the tribe, he said, God is truth. But a truth shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. Alright? Who overcame the, the Gadites? The so-called white man. Yeah. He's that truth that Jacob saw in his vision that overcame Gad. But, yeah. but he's he's going to overcome that last, man. That's why we had to tell her, look, it's all about faith. I yeah. can't go and prove to you, you know, that I am a Gadite. It's by faith that I believe I'm a Gadite. Right. But either way, whatever tribe I'm from, I'm an Israelite. It don't really matter, man. We're going to really find out who we are, man. That's right. The scripture said, don't take heed to endless genealogy. Yeah, man. Right. You can't prove, I can't prove that I'm a Jew, right? Yeah. All the records we lost. It's uh -huh. by faith. And she come up here talking about, where y'all friends is at? You know, no, she said, uh, she said, uh, she said, too. she said some tassels or something. Yeah, that's what she said. So yeah. she was, she said fringes, but she did just like the tassel, like as if we supposed to be wearing the ones that the fake Jews wear. That's what she, she's getting a standard. Exactly. She yeah. think wow. the standard is the so called right. white man. Yeah. Okay, but we, she, we got fringes. Yeah. All right? That's right. And more than anything, we got the truth. All right. Exactly. Uh -huh. You know, that's the truth, garment. The truth. Exactly. Hey, she, she told bust the fuck out, man. Hey, she said they gonna hop on a plane and go back to the land. She gonna yeah. go to the land. She gonna hop on some ships. Get the fuck out of here, all right? We waiting <laughs> on the Lord to come back and save us. Hey, recently the government told them they gotta get the hell up out of uh, the land. Yeah, that was yeah, that was yeah a little while ago. Huh, so Ezekiel thirty four and thirty one. 
And you, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are many. And I am your God, saying, How bashing, how shy. So this is what the Lord deals with men. Not women. Women supposed to be at home, man. Yeah. Have a, 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 a husband to learn under. Not supposed to come up here and, and speak all this mad confusion, man, with no with no backing of scripture. You're just uttering your words, man. Yeah, women are not wired like men. All right, a man is going is going to deal with reality. Women they run from reality, man. And that's why she got emotional the way the brothers the car was speaking. Yeah, yeah. like that. You know, yeah, you got brother spirit. Yeah. Whether you hear or not, hey, that's how that brother roll. Yeah. Same with me. I was talking about my son last night, man. Hey, that's my spirit, man. Don't be offended by how I come at you. Don't focus on how how it's being said. Focus on what's being said, said, man. There you go. All this soft shit out here, man. Yeah. Shit. What you think the Lord going to do, man? How you think the Lord's going? He's from the thousands, man. Harsh. You know, the Lord wasn't soft, man. Hey, he man. came. When he came, he spoke with authority, man. Yeah, man. You straight forward, straight to the point. Of and that's how we word. speak, man. Right. That's how we talk. Yeah. Straight, direct. Voice in many waters. That's right. Yeah. Let's get to it quick. Well, I got it. First uh, Thessalonians 4, 16. All right. And when the Lord spoke, some of the disciples didn't follow him no more because they got offended on how he spoke. Yeah. Now, they didn't, get his, they didn't get offended on how he spoke. They got offended on what was being said. They didn't understand him saying that he was the bread of life. They didn't understand. They thought he was talking about cannibalism. So it's not, they didn't get offended on how he spoke. This is First Thessalonians 4 and 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of the Most High and the dead and Yahweh Shai shall rise first. Right, man. Go to the with a shout. It's going to be a loud day. The Lord's blasting on people, man. All right? But she don't believe that. Yeah. She don't believe any of that. She don't believe that. That's crazy. And we believe that shout is what it says in a Revelation 18. Come out of her, my people. You know? Hey, that's why the, the scriptures say, give the woman no, no uh, Authority. liberty, man. Yeah, the get her water no yeah, way to go, man. You're supposed to shut her ass down from the beginning. Just shut that shit up. Yeah. Shut up. You know? Yeah. Because see, women bring nothing but confusion, man. It was nothing but confusion the whole time she was here. She was once saying this and saying that, saying this, saying that. Nothing, no edification. Well, edification came out. Well, you're right, you're right. Edification. It was edifying. Right, edifying. Not, not right. edifying. Right. Because right. we could say, no, nah, that's wrong. This is right. Right, exactly. So it's, it's, it, that's how it is out here in the elements. At the end of the day, she just didn't have any respect for us as men. Yeah, yeah, so right. black and speaking of mortgages and all that, right. like we don't have, like we don't hold down families and right. shit. Right. We got life fucked up, man. She like, oh y'all, I don't want to be in an apartment. She don't want to be in no apartment. Yeah. Okay. We in captivity. What does it matter? Yeah. Exactly. I got it. Talking about your woman had to settle for you and all that. Yeah, I damn. I disrespect us. Yeah. She had that disrespect. You know. Uh -huh. She had that hate yeah. for us. The, the man that laid down with your ass settled for your ass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He left your ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was probably in a hurry. Yeah. Now your son about to be in the Space Force. Yeah. Now oh. he about to fight against the Lord. Yeah. He'll be turning to dust. Yeah, man. Smell the smoke. That's good for him. I bring Following up. your black ass. Yeah. This is Job 39 and 16. She's hardened against her young ones as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear. Is the point. Because the most I deprived her of wisdom, yep. neither hath he imparted to her understanding. And we saw a clear example of that scripture play yeah. right in front of us, man. No wisdom, no understanding. Didn't understand what she was, <laughs> she was saying. She, she no, was not. No, no real foundation. All right. All over the place, man. Yeah. yeah. You call yourself an Israelite. Man. You believe that you're an Israelite, but you don't believe in, in the Lord. You don't believe right. in, the, in, the, in the Savior. That he's the cornerstone of our people. The Israelites were the birth of the Lord. Okay? Because Isaac was the Lord. Out of the loins of Isaac came who? He saw in Jacob, man. Yeah. But that's okay. too deep for her. Yeah, that's too deep. She don't even believe a Messiah to even accept that thought. But hey, no Messiah, no salvation. Hey, and she was more man. focused on the outward appearance. Yeah. That's why they say it should call the message. How the how the message is child of Ishikar. They're, they're black. Don't you know when Hosea says Ephraim, which is the head tribe, which are, which are the Puerto Ricans today, which is the head tribe of the Northern Kingdom, don't, don't you know in the scripture it says that Ephraim is like an unturned pancake? Yeah. yeah. 
All right. This, do you know what Jeremiah says? Israel's like the uh 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 uh. It's like a speckled bird. That's why it comes down to faith. Yeah. We can bring all the scriptures out, but she ain't gonna believe that these people are not gonna speak. Not mixed with faith. She still with. She still got that uh that uh that vexation against the North Northern the King. Yeah. Right? Still got something against them, man. It's all good, she though. She still got something against her own man. Yeah. You know? She she came up here talking crap about it. That's why I say she coming in the spirit of Eve, man. Straight Eve, man. Yeah. Okay, wicked Eve. <laughs> yeah. That's just crazy. But yeah, she's gonna have to live with those words. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Now, now the Lord is again. He, he been against you, but now you don't spoke against him. Yep. Yeah. Like the true Lord, we talking yeah. about. So now you might not make it out the week, man. You yeah. might not make. You might not make it past the weekend, man. She came up here and marked himself. Yeah. Got hey, mark, man. What, what did uh when Peter said you should build a temple for Moses and Elijah? Yeah, get it, bro. Yeah, but I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's better to read it. Yeah. That's a rough paraphrase. Because the Lord was, the Heavenly Father was making a point. Right. Let's read it, man. Because yeah, Yahweh Shai, he's, he's, he's the most important piece of this thing, man. Yeah, the, yeah. Of course, the most high, but let's grab John the fifth chapter, John 5 and 22. All right, let's start at 20. All right, because the way you, you please the Heavenly Father is by worshiping Yahweh Shai too. John 5, and like start 20. So uh, the book of John, chapter 5, verse 20. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the New Testament. We can't go there. Oh, oh, we can't oh. go there. That's my favorite book, though. Right, right. John is my favorite book. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. For the Father loveth the Son, and showeth him all things. Right. That himself doeth, and he will show him greater works than these, that ye may mark. For as the Father raiseth up the dead, and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth them, whom he will. Right, and the, and the son quickened us. Which quicken means what, I Damn. To be made alive. To make alive. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta know. Come on. Back in John 5 and 20. It says, uh, 21. She didn't even know what a Messiah meant. Yeah, that's crazy. Go ahead. 21. For as the Father raiseth up the dead and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. Right? For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. That's why everyone's going to have to go to the judgment of the Abishai. For all the things they've done in this flesh, whether good or bad, man. She's going to have to be judged. She's going to be judged of the Son. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. It says uh, that all men should honor the Son. Uh, even as they honor the Father. All men shall honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. Go ahead. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father which has sent him. So she talking about Yah. You ain't honoring the Father, man. You ain't honoring the Father if you ain't honoring the Son. You better put some respect on his name, man. Go ahead. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me, an everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation but is passed from death into life mm -hmm. that's it so if you don't honor it's a package man it's a package deal yeah you gotta have the if you don't have the heavenly father i mean if you don't have the son you don't have the most high if you don't if you don't uh uh, uh have the most high you don't have the son man it's a package deal man that's yeah. right get that that one you got huh this is matthew 17 and 1 and after six days, Yahweh Shai taketh Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bringeth them up into an high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun, and his remnant was white as the light. His raiment was white as the light. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Eliza, Elias, which is Elijah, talking with him. Then answered Peter and said, right, Representing the law and the prophets. Yep. Then answered Peter and said unto Yahweh Shine, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If that will let us make here three tabernacles, one for thee, one for Moses, and one for Elias. Kind of putting them all on the same level. Kind of, right? Go ahead. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And behold, a voice out of the cloud was said, This is my beloved son, in uh. whom I am well pleased. Uh. Hear ye him. There you go. Hear ye him. Right. So the point of all that, Yahweh Shai is, is 
he has the preeminence. Yeah. He's above everybody, man. That's why the scriptures say, taller than all the rest. Yeah. He's the firstborn of all creatures, man. That's right. Do you know? The firstborn. The only begotten. The only begotten. The only one the Heavenly Father created, man. Right. It would be nothing without Yahweh That's right. Come on, man. Go ahead, out. It's uh, the book of Colossians 1 and 13. It says, who hath delivered Sorry, us? 12. No, 2 and 12. It says, giving thanks unto the Father, which hath made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in life, who hath delivered us from the power of darkness, and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son. Come on, that's right. In whom we have... And we, 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 remember, we went into that word, it meant beloved. Yeah. His beloved Son. Go ahead. That dear is beloved. Go ahead. It says, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even See, the forgiveness that's of what, sins. That's what I was asking you then. How, how are you, uh, what's your sacrifice then? How are you forgiven for your transgressions without you have a shot? How? Because you ain't over there making sacrifices daily for your sins. You ain't doing it. Let's get real. Especially not no goddamn woman. Uh -huh. Okay? Uh, the sacrifice, our atonement for our sins, is Yahweh Shai, man. Right. Ain't no way around it. Go ahead. Who is the image of the invisible power? The firstborn of every creature. The firstborn of every creature, man. The firstborn of every creature. Come on, man. That's right. The Lord wouldn't accept those sacrifices anyway. Right. Yeah. Okay, let's get that in Luke 19.27. Daniel 7 and 13, I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven. Who is that talking about, bro? And the yeah, sun Messiah. right there is in the cap. But who is that talking about, Daniel exactly. Messiah? Right. Who is, well, that who is that son? Who is that talking about? This, said, this, ain't, this ain't not talking about nothing happening on earth. Right. Who is that talking about, man? Right. One like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. I bet you she don't even know who that Ancient of Days is talking about. The most high. But she a woman. What do women know? She had a rebuttal for everything. Like, damn, like, what are, you, are you making up go the, the gospel on this part or something? Like, what yeah, are you doing? Are. She says she lets my enemy shall see it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. She's our enemy, and she's the Lord, the Lord's enemy right now. Yeah. Let's get that Luke 19. Uh, Luke. You got it? Yeah. It's uh, Luke 19 and 27. It says, But those mine enemies, which will not, that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Those mine enemies. She's an enemy. She doesn't want you to have a shot to reign over her. Mm -hmm. So I'm supposed to be just subjective. I'm supposed to not say nothing. Yes. I'm, supposed to, yes. I'm supposed to just sit there yes. and not have an opinion. Yes. yes. Exactly. Fuck your opinion. Yeah, Straight, up. Yeah. Straight up. Your opinion was heresy, man. Yeah. Doctrines of death. That, that was your opinion. You, you had an opinion back in the garden. Man. Okay, and look where that led us. Where that got us. Where yeah. we are today. Yeah. yeah. But you have an unction from the Holy One, and you shall know all things. That's why we have an answer for everything she got. She's saying. <laughs> yeah. It says, "I have not written unto you because you know the, you know not the truth, but because you know it, and that no lies are the truth." Who is a liar? But he that denieth that Yahweh Shai is the Messiah, Ooh. the Anointed. He is an antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Antichrist. So she was, she was straight up antichrist. <laughs> The definition of it. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same have not the Father. But he that acknowledgeth the Son hath the Father also. 
Yeah, yeah that's why I want her. She was a devil, a deceiver. Uh -huh. Just like her father, the devil. You know? So Two thirds of our people, man. Yeah, she denying his son. Right. Yeah. The only savior that you have. To get up out of here. The only savior. She's on about hopping on a plane. So you gotta get a passport, <laughs> permission from the devil. And then go over there to more depth. No, there's something that she needs on, first. Money. Money. Yeah. And then she's talking about they gonna willingly leave the land. That's not he saw Edom. He yeah. still ain't gave up this land. Right. Yeah. He ain't leaving that land. Right. Come on, man. Bro, she said we're gonna save ourselves. I'm A woman bad. said that. That's, I'm good. That's the dumbest shit I ever heard. I'm good. Yeah. Hey, hey. Did King David save himself when he was surrounded by the Philistines? Right. We saw 18, we'll tell you what happened. He called on the Lord. That's you right. You came and save yourself from sickness. Man. You know, how the hell you expect to save myself from the goddamn devil? Esau eat him that has a sword. She don't even believe that Esau is Esau. No. Wow. She didn't want to. When you brought out uh, uh, Job 9 and 24, who the wicked is, yeah. she still didn't want to believe it. <laughs> she had to say it because it was so evident she didn't want to look stupid. Right. But she didn't want to to say that right because she's still under that vibration of the serpent now. That okay is, that, that is beyond crazy because when you read job now ain't nobody else put themselves up as the lord mm -hmm. and as the lord people and as the heavenly father ain't nobody did that but esau man she don't want to deal with that though mm -hmm. so hey, even if that esau say esau is an esau he got who who was who was that person that did that thing man mm. you know talking about he jacked that's that bullshit. Yeah, she, she said Jap is the land. It wasn't a nation. She's wow. confused, bro. Yes. Because first of all, Japheth was a man first. Yeah. Japheth was a man first, the son of Noah. What are you talking about? Yeah. Damn, man. Yeah. That's the scripture say, don't let the incredulity of them trouble me. Right. Yeah. She's a faithful soul out here, man. She's going to be destroyed. But we're going to put our faith in you. How about she got a shot? As we always do, man. Yeah. See that in Sirach, 34. Uh, 13. Uh, so the book of Sirach, chapter 34 and 15. Uh, 13, sorry, 13. Oh, my bad. It's uh, 30, Sirach 34 and 13. It says, The spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live. And we fear the Lord. We try to live out here. We fear him anyway. You know, too, some of us will put to death. We fear the Lord, man. We believe it. Yeah. Wholeheartedly. Yeah, we fear the Heavenly Father and the Son. Yeah. Yep. Hey, right. it's good to say it's wrong. Kiss the sun, right? right. Unless he be angry. Yep. Who is that sun? Yeah, we sure. I know it's not talking about the sun in the sky. Oh, no, <laughs> the S U N. How you going? Capital S O N. Right. Okay. Come on, ain't no way of getting around your outside existence. There's no way around it. Then you want to say concerning the prophecy in Isaiah 7 chapter that there were many, there were, I think she said many versions or some shit like that. Yeah. That's specifically talking about one woman, man. Yeah. Don't get simple, man. Yeah, how is is mentioned in the first verse of the Bible. Yeah. Okay. So there ain't no way around it. And when you go into the precepts on that, it's talking the 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 uh Yahweh Shah is speaking with the most high. Okay. So verse 13, it says that the spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live. For their hope is in him that saved them. Yeah, our hope is in you, Yahweh Shai, man. Right. That's the only hope we have. Yahweh Shai, man. That's the only hope out here. That's right. We're trying to save ourselves. We're not going to hop on Delta, some cramped flight, get a passport, and fly over back to Israel. Our hope is in Yahweh Shai. Right. That's that bogus shit, man. Hop on a plane, seriously? Damn. Or a boat. Or a boat. Like Jake gonna actually do yeah. that. You know, you know how hard that would be? Man. Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> There's no other man. hope but you how about it should be how we shot. Even if there was you have say you hop on a boat and let the nukes go off and you on that boat? Yeah. You threw it. She doesn't know the nukes coming off, man. So she said going to Israel. That it, that land of Israel is gonna get nuked. Yep. yep. So verse 14. Whoso feareth the Lord shall not fear, nor be afraid, for he is his hope. So when that day comes, man, when that time and sacred troubles comes, man, she's gonna fear. People like her, man. Uh, hey, the yeah. ones that learn, that she learned under, they're oh, gonna be fierce. Man, she's gonna be fear. Her son's gonna be fierce. Man. All because she was pushing bullshit on her son, 
and everybody else out here. Man, damn. Talking about Rick Freddy Green, you sure? That's not the true name. You want to get answer to no Rick Shrew, right? Hell no. She can't even break down what that means. What the fuck is that? That ain't last one with that. That ain't Hebrew. She don't know what y'all mean. Right. That's not wow. even her name. Right. Yeah, how was? Uh -huh. And, and oh, she, 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 she can't. That's why. Right. Wisdom, wisdom and knowledge or stability of like time. She has no wisdom, no knowledge whatsoever. Bro, then she said we're not supposed to say the name. What? What? Just to say, we got to call on the Lord, man. Yeah. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The, the righteous are running into it and be safe. Oh, Type man. in the name of the Lord on Blue Letter Bible. Look at how many scriptures come up, man. Yeah. Hey, but that's why I was saying, like, just let her go. Yeah, nah, bring you confusion, know. you know. I was telling her to leave, but she wouldn't leave, right? She yeah. liked to hear, man. Yeah, it's locky for that. That's what, you know. <laughs> she liked to hear, man. She was imagining you and her, and she's nah. like, what if we lived in a... <laughs> Me, I'm, 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 she I'm has young. a wig. She that shit on. Man, she don't, you, don't, yeah, you don't even know what that goes back to. Yeah. She's smothering her skull. Yeah. Verse 15. It says, Blessed is the soul of him that feareth the Lord, to whom doth he look, and who is his strength. But we ain't looking to the either for nothing. We ain't looking for this thing for nothing. That's right. We look into Yahweh Rashmel Shah to deliver us, man. When these things begin to happen, we call on the name of the Lord, man. Uh, ain't, it really ain't really nothing you can do. It's a, this is a global thing that Esau Edom is trying to uh, do. It's right. a global takeover. So it don't matter where the fuck you are on the earth. Yeah. You still gonna be affected, man. Uh, Alright? Yeah. He is our strength. She was talking shit about us, but that's not having our strength now. You know, come on. This Man. Is, the Lord is our strength. Trying to insult us. The Lord with the poor of the world. Yeah. Christian faith. Uh, you know? If you're a woman that bound to your man, no matter what condition you're in, if you really love your man, you're going to stay with him. Be with him, support him, help yep. him, see what you're going to do. Facts. Instead of just nagging him and being a fucking dragon at home all day. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, showing you that a lot of them women that take them vows don't really mean what they're saying. Of course. Women ain't shit, bro. Yeah, come on. They love you and wake up the next day and hate you. Man. Ain't shit, man. man. It's like your brothers are saying, man, our people, they want everything right now. Yeah. You know, they, they don't want to wait for the key. Yes, you can't talk about building the community. Bitch, you ain't building nothing. Hey, that's right. We were, we were talking, we mentioned earlier. Yeah. Of course, she came about Black Wall Street and all the, and all the other cities, that man. That was all the men doing that, though. Mm. Hey, women, you ain't building no fences, building no houses. Get the fuck out of here, man. All you doing is laying on your back. Yeah. Shut your ass up. Talking about building. A woman should never talk about building. Because you ain't doing no labor. Shut your ass up. You know what's funny? I saw a billboard in Santa Monica saying uh, build better. You know how America is like, yeah, build better? Build yeah. better. I had a woman on it with uh, construction. Like, yeah, right. Out of here. Women don't build. Nah. I don't never see no women at a construction site. Fuck out of here. You ain't even built like that. Right. You're too fucking weak. That's right. See, but this is the shit that they don't want to address. You don't want to deal with reality. You want to put yourself on the same level as a man. Hell, man. That don't make sense, man. We ain't built sense. like that. Huh. But let's go. Yeah, fuck, fuck. It says, uh, hey, Blessed is the soul of him that feareth the Lord, to whom doth he look, and huh. who is his strength. For the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love him. He is your mighty protection and strong stay. That's right. A defense from the heat and a cover from the sun at noon. Ooh. A preservation from, from stumbling and helping from falling. Right, people like her are going to have none of that protection, man. That's right. Because they don't believe, she didn't believe in the Lord. The Lord ain't believing in her, man. You know? She will ain't going to be there for you. Who else? The Israelis ain't going to be there for you. Hey, the scripture. That's right. Yeah. Huh? Hey, the scripture says we shall no longer stay upon him that smote us, but yeah. Yahweh by Shemel Shai. So you know, we are gonna completely depend on the Lord, yeah. no matter what the situation is. And why is that? Because what well, Esau's getting ready to input, input on the earth, like forever. Yeah. Huh? If you don't receive those things, you're basically gonna have to 
live off grid. That's we right. have to rely on Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai, just like in the wilderness. Our forefathers, we have to rely on the Lord for everything. Yeah. Okay? This is where we gotta put our trust in the Lord. You know, our people trust this place too much. Like, this place is the greatest country of all time. Yeah. Yeah, not knowing other other uh, kingdoms like the, the Bab Babylon. The Babylon Empire was greater than America. Ancient yeah. Babylon. The Medes and the Persians was way greater than America. That's right. America has what, like 51 provinces, which are states? Um, Medes and the Persians, they had about over 100. Ooh. 127 provinces, man. Huh. Okay? And, and look at these nations. You had Babylon, they were a great empire. People thought they were never going to go down. What ended up happening? They fell. They went down. Same yeah. thing with the Medes and the Persians, same thing with the Romans. And it's the same thing here in America. Now you have our people here, they, they, they speak so proudly that we're the greatest military, whenever they take it down. But not 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 considering the ancient kingdoms that were far greater than America. Now they got taken down, man. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Our people, that's why the scripture says, woe well unto them that go to Egypt for help. Yeah. Our people still have trust in this so-called white man, man. They still believe in him, they still believe in his society. And those that have that mindset are going to be destroyed when America is destroyed, man. Society is going to turn on them, right? Uh, this is uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. All right. Rebellious children are to the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Single Indians. Here it is, the Lord is trying to give you life, give you his word. Well, you you're rebelling against it, man. Or right, you want to worship other gods, which you know gods, because only there's only one God, and that's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's so right. So the people that you, the gods, you people are worshiping nothing but idols, man. That's right. Okay. It says, but not of me, and that covering with the covering, but not of my spirit. Yeah, you learn from these other doctrines. Yeah. These yeah. false doctrines, man. That don't that can't lead you to salvation. Like that lady, she was learned by she. She she uh she was covered by a whole nother doctrine. That was not of the spirit mm -hmm. of Yahweh busting me out. Shout out the spirit of Satan, man. Yeah, that's right. It's a covered cast. The Antichrist is destroyed. It's an Antichrist. It's a covered cast. The Lord's gonna knock down the murder. Yeah, really in her course, she has a hardcore feminist. It says, but not a man. Hey, and what the, what what does Apostle Kabar say? I remember I'm saying I said this a few times. That you cannot bring this feminist shit into the truth. Into the, to the truth. Because that's what you have women that, that claim to believe. That's what they try to bring. Yeah. They try to bring that feminist. They're not willing to seek the old path. Like the scripture says, seek the old path. What was the old path for a woman to be under her husband? To be sub, to be a, to, to serve her husband. Hey, they don't want to do that, man. Huh? They think that they can become teachers and they can be somebody. No, man. Yeah. And the scripture says the head of every man is Yahweh Shai, and the head, of every, um, the head of every woman is a man. Right, there's so, order. Yeah, come on. There's order, man. It says, uh, that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked of my mouth to right. strengthen themselves. Right, and this actually was an actual account that when the Syrians were attacking Israel, mm -hmm. Our people went to Egypt for help. Yeah. Okay? But that same spirit, this is how you know what this Israelites say, that same spirit our people are doing that today. Not ancient Egypt, but modern day Egypt, which is America. Okay? Because they see this place being so great. We got the greatest military power ever. All right? Hey, ancient times, how did our people go uh, to the Lord for help? They will mourn, put sackcloth on, and they'll humble themselves and pray to the Lord. But why are they not doing that? Because they've forgotten the power of their salvation. That's right. And the work of their strength. Which is Yahweh Bush and Yahweh Shai, man. You have our people that do not want to accept Yahweh Shai. You have our people that don't want to believe in the Most High in, in, in general, man. You know, you got people that have become atheists. You know, Jakes, calling on the universe. <laughs> worshiping worshiping what, 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 what God created and not the Creator. Bro, I hate seeing them TikToks and it be Jakes too. Prove to me that God exists. I'm like, what? An uh, Israelite man not believing that, that when we were set up God? to be when we were set up to believe in the most high. That's right. We're bro. his people. 
Yeah, what's your question? Will you bear witness with me in heaven if I make it there behind you? That we're some sort of equal then? You, you can't, you can't. If you're a so-called white man, yeah. you, in, in, a, in the Bible, the so-called white man's true nationality is Edom. The Hebrew word is Adawan, which means red. All right, you're, you're, if your line goes back to Esau, you, there's no way we could connect, man. Enoch. Esau. Esau. Yeah, there's, I understand that, but there's other prophets of God that did demonstrable ways show and prove God. Yeah, Israelites. Israelites yeah. are the prophets. I understand you're the Hebrew nation. I totally achieved that. I'm justice bound for peace. I totally want to go to heaven and see you again. But there's no, there's no peace for But there's no way for me. Right. There's no for peace for me. Yeah, there's no Infidel, way for yeah. Michael Strauss, yeah. see, hey, Levi Public, Jew. What's your nationality? I'm from Jew City. Jew City. Jew City. Jew City, yes. You're a so-called Jew? I'm a prophetic amongst us, a Jew amongst us. You're Jewish? Jew, I believe so. Yeah, you're, you're Edomite. Yeah, from, from Amalek. Yeah, you're Edomite. Yeah, that's what 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 you're Edomite. I know I have no way of respecting you, brothers. I hear you out here crying your heart out to God and showing respect. I hope that demonstrably evil is put out of the way and financial distribution of gifts and God, holy most saved, will give you justice in your life. Well, can we get to a scripture? Can we get a second Thessalonians? Or the first and second Thessalonians? So he'd be taken out of the way? Yeah, I'm on the Get that, get that real quick. The evil is on. If it was going to be, oh no, you're going to be taken out of the way. But it's going to be when the Lord takes the, the evil out of the way, which the evil is really so called white man. Yeah. So I just want to meet up in heaven and, and just say, well, heaven's going to be on earth. Yeah. yeah. You're going to be in heaven. Heaven is a condition. Hell is a condition. Yeah. So the kingdom of heaven is going to be it's going to be bliss for these people. Yeah. The so-called Negroes is spent in their breakfast. It's been a long time. time. But it's going it's to be hell for you, yeah. for your yeah. people. You in heaven right now. You yeah. talk like you want to meet the world, man. You in yeah. heaven. You're in your heaven. Oh, yeah. You in your heaven. You I got to go. Okay. Look, all right. Hey, he said that. Alley 5,000. All right, man. Peace Let out. Let Ain't no peace out of the Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Hey, the scripture says, for without our dogs, murderers, or sorcerers, yeah. you know, you're not going to be in our kingdom, man. You're yeah, going to be in the pits. He's going to be in the kingdom, but he's going to yeah. be in servitude. Right? Uh -huh. He's going to be out in the field. Uh, exactly. Yeah, he's going to be like what the, the, the parable say, seeing uh, uh, Lazarus, uh, Lazarus afar yeah, yeah, off. Yeah, afar off. He's going to be there, all right? Exactly. Because yeah. you're going to be a servant. Yeah, you know, good. Exactly. But you're going to be outside. You're not yeah. going to, you know. Can't get in. You can't get in that ass. Yeah, you're going to be living in the pits, man. Pits. Think about a pit. You're not going to have no covering. You're going to live in a pit where you're going to deal with the elements and all that, man. Yeah. Hey, how about Shabbat Shai? So cold. He going to have us, like, you know, being glorified and them just on the outside looking in. <laughs> That's what's happening That's right good. now. Yeah. They're glorified right now. Okay. Hey. I was up in uh in Beverly Hills. I was driving in Beverly Hills the other day. Yeah. It's a whole nother world. Yeah, I've been here all week, man. Right? Yeah. It's another world. It's another world. Yeah. Uh fancy Lamborghini, Rolls Royce, all that. Only yeah, people I haven't been outside there, is, is uh it's a car. Out there with his truck, with his main, maintaining the land, oh, yeah. doing construction. the pool, construction. Okay. He saw us living it up right now. Man, they they live good, good. And that dude was age. Yeah. So he was back in the 50s, the 60s, oh, yeah. when shit was really popular. Right, exactly. See? <laughs> he, uh, there's no way for you to eat something. You eat them, I should make it, man. Yeah. No way. Right. You don't care if you humble yourselves yeah. to the ground. I mean, shit, man. There's no way. you're If you're an Edomite, you're going to be in slavery. You you're been rejected. For a thousand years, you're asking to be exterminated. Yeah. That's what you plan to do to us. But your plan came up around your and attacked you in your own head, man. That's right. No mercy should, should be shown to them that show no, no mercy. mercy. See, but he said, he basically said he's familiar with the Hebrew nation. Mm -hmm. he, he heard this before. Uh -huh. so, so, he, so he's trying to he try to crouch down and be humble. <laughs> yeah. He tried to see. Right. Yeah. He says he, he ain't gonna work. He says he knows the people. Yeah, that shit ain't gonna work, dog. Yeah. Ain't nothing you could do. 
But when we get to heaven, I always want to be in heaven and I want everything to be peaceful. Nah, man. Nah. Why you want peace? <laughs> Bro, you said then we're going to be equal. Oh, equal, huh? There you go. You can go right there, huh? If you want to. Uh, that one, you can just go in there. There's a bathroom in there. A restaurant? Yeah, there's a clean bathroom in there, bro. Try this clean bathroom. Yeah, you can keep humbling, crouching down. Talking about he wants peace. You know, kingdom, heaven. <laughs> he ain't gonna get no peace, man. Right. Well, when he goes to the spirit world, yeah, he'll have peace, but we're not gonna be the same level. Hey, well, can't no. Lazarus just put his finger in some water? Yeah. Put it on my tongue, because it's so... It's so much. It's too much. You know, they weak anyway. Yeah. Okay. When the stock market crashed, what do they do? They jump out of a hundred story building. Yeah. Kill Man. themselves. There was this 18 or 17 year old Edomite. When that GameStop scandal happened, but it, it, he thought he lost, he had like over like 100K. He had a lot of money. Uh -huh. And when he thought he lost that, the first thing he did is kill himself. See? And he didn't lose that money. The money was still there. Wow. You know, just roughly paraphrasing the story the best the best I know it. But uh Esau Esau the so called man, they can't handle no tribulation, man. Right. Yeah. Can I bring out the scripture? Isaiah 48, 22. There is no peace, said Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai unto the wicked. Isaiah 57, 21. There is no peace, said my God, to the wicked. So there's no peace. Now Esau talking about peace after all the things that they've done to mm -hmm. the Lord's people. Yeah. You don't you you, you don't and not expecting that for us to rise up and to act upon vengeance, act get our vengeance, and which is gonna be how much you know, shy, that's gonna give us our vengeance. Right. Bro, you that's, know? that's crazy. In their movies, they always show the bad guy dying or something bad happening to him. He never goes off in the sunset. So how do you think they gonna just escape their judgment? They're not you can't escape. That's right. You're not gonna go unpunished. Hey, that's the scripture, man. Uh, Je Jeremiah 49, and it says right here, Jeremiah 49 and 12. It says, For thus saith the Lord, Behold, they they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. Yeah. What's that cup? Slavery. That cup is slavery. It was not meant for us to, to, to drink of that cup because we are the Lord's people. But since we broke the law of steps and commandments, we had to drink it. Okay, yeah. it says, yeah. and art thou he, refers to Esau, and art thou he that shall all together go unpunished? Yeah. That's the question mark. Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. So, you think that you're going to go unpunished? Yeah. You don't think the Lord is going to punish you for all, all the evil that you did to the Lord's people, for all the things you're doing to the earth, man? You don't think you're, you think you're going to go unpunished? Because that's the spirit of Esau. He walks like it. He has his head on high. He talks like he's not gonna go unpunished. He boasts like he's the most high. He thinks he's, he's, he's never gonna be touched. He thinks he's gonna uh, infiltrate his new order. All right? But, but little does he know that vengeance is way from as a lion hunting down a goddamn gazelle in the dark, man. Yeah. And the lion's yell shy. <laughs> says righteous things we can fix. Tribulation to them that trouble you. That's right. And Esau did nothing but trouble us since we bit over you. Since he's also saying, you know, he that leadeth in captivity shall go into captivity. He that killed the sword shall and must be killed with the sword. Alright? So yeah, he ain't gonna get away from that, man. He saw the end of the nation, man. You're not gonna get away from your judgment. And eventually, you know, you're gonna get burnt up, you know. Israel's gonna commit, truly gonna commit genocide of the nation of Israel. Real Holocaust. Real Holocaust, yeah. Burn them all up. You know, the nation, after the first thousand years of slavery, then you ain't going to go back to the land. You still got to pay tribute to us. Right. I got something for you. Ezekiel 25 and 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashi, Yahweh That's so the Lord is going to give his people, the Israelites, you know, the power to get that revenge on the other nation. And Peter, Esau. 
That's right. Like me. Now, can you read that again? That vengeance? It says, and, and they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shah. Yeah, they're going to know the Lord's vengeance the hand of his, of his people and the elect. Thing, right? Because the scriptures say, he that touches you touches the apple of his eye, man. Okay? Hey, Hitler said that. He was like, y'all took God's jewelry. Exactly. Y'all touched the apple of the Lord's eye. Go hand, join in hand. The wicked shall not go unpunished, man. Okay? Joe, though, though he ain't trying to hang with some black dude and stuff like, yeah, man, we're going to be cold in the kingdom. No. That dude right there, the most high is going to put in his heart to slay him, man. That's right. If it kind of came down to it, man. Okay? The Most High is going to do His will, man. Not the will of the Edomite. Not to go unpunished. They don't want to go. Who would want to go punish, get punished? For all the shit they, that they have done, okay, for the last 2,000 years? Yeah, that's right. Think about it. We wanted to go into slavery. We didn't want to go into slavery. Yeah. Uh, no, no. This shit still hurt. Yeah, we were surely drunk. Yep. We went into that shit. We went into slavery. It was time for you to go into slavery. Yep. All right? Yep. Another one. Let's see. Uh, Deuteronomy. Real quick. Deuteronomy 30 and 7. It says, And the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, thy power, will put all these curses upon thine enemies Woo. and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Okay? So all those curses that we suffered, that we went through, you're going to get the curses. You're gonna know what it's like to put women to fuck up against you. You're gonna know what it's like to build something but you can't but look the benefits of what you built. To be an outcast. Outcast in society. Yeah. Why, have to be a byword to everybody. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I'm gonna come up with different bywords for you. Hey, I like just have no land. All that. We're gonna come up with different words for you. Being changed. Oh, and, look, look, look how uh, look how Karen got upset about that word to turn Karen. Yep. They went on a rampage about that. They didn't want to be called Karen. You know what I'm saying? But they want to say nigga. Okay? Why can't we say it? Okay? Why can't we say Karen? Because it's derogatory, yes. Okay? But what good was good for the goose ain't good for the gander, as they say. According to Esau. Okay? It's a double standard. We don't need to call you the derogatory term. You can call you who you want. Esau, Edom. Exactly. That's good enough. That's it. Edomite. You don't get no lower than that. Edom. Esau. Idumia. Yeah, okay. Demon. Like. You're going to know what it's like to have your children sold off. That's you right. You're going to know what it's like not to have any power in your might. No power in your hand. Hey, they're going to go to us for the one of all things. <laughs> yeah. But when they hungry, they're going to be... Whoa! <laughs> Raven and shit. I got something. This is Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. Most sides not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that sh shall he also reap. That's what Esau wanted to call farmer. Right? Goes around, comes around, right? What 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 have you what has Esau been doing to the Lord's people, to the earth? Put our people in slavery, rape, rob, murder our, our people, stole our lands. All right, call us all these uh, so-called, uh, uh, not so-called, these racist terms. Call us niggas, spicks, wetbacks. Well, guess what? All that's gonna come to you, man. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna rule you with a rod of iron and righteousness, man. All right. See, yep, they they walking around as if they knew. You know, I just seen this Edomite woman just walk by. She's not human. That's not a human being, man. Yeah. That's that's the devil, man. You gotta start looking at them as who they are, man. Yeah. That's the devil. Yeah. Okay. They ain't got no compassion on you. They might, they might uh crouch low and, and, and when they need something, act all humble and shit. Okay. But what the scriptures say, and 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 when you turn your back, he quite know how to kill you, man. Yeah. How to overthrow you? How to overturn you, man? How to take your place? Huh? That's their nature. That's what they do. They're not changing. They are, they are not going to change, man. That's that scripture, uh, Rust. Okay, his rust going to come back, man. Huh. Okay. Go ahead, huh? It's uh, Sirach 10, uh, 12 and 10. 
Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Yep. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust has not been altogether wiped away. Man. This dude is going to be, he's going to be the devil, man. Okay, he might act good for a second, but he's going to come right, like that rust going to come back, he's going to go right back into his wickedness, man, because he never, he never left off from it. Yeah. Hey, okay. They were really showing on to him, but he would not learn right. right. To because he was made to be the wicked. Okay. I got just, a Go ahead. Oh, just like, just like you, you got, you got a, a, a tree that's made, a, a rubber tree uh -huh. that makes rubber. Huh. You can't make that tree into a, uh, a, a, a orange, a, a orange tree, a orange pecan tree. tree. Yeah. Yeah. That thing is going every time. It's going to produce rubber, man. Just like an orange tree. It's not going to all of a sudden one day start producing apples. Yeah, this, oh, I can't wait till this tree start making some apples, man. Okay, that's the same way with Esau, man. He was made the wicked. He's going to be the wicked until the Most High takes him out of the way. Okay. Uh, the Ecclesiastes 7 and 13. Consider the work of the Most High. For who can make that straight which he have made crooked? He made Ooh. wicked crooked. Esau was made crooked, man. A serpent is known for it is crookedness man okay the way it slithers the way it moves it has to move crookedly in order to advance man it can't move straight to advance it has to move in a crooked way in order to move wow okay and he is known as the serpent man yeah okay yeah so you can't no matter how you got that objective feel about him you know you can't make this man out to be a good guy but not all of them are bad now the scriptures say there's none that are good yeah. they say that because oh i got white friends they buy me they buy me this do this for me it might be jake's though no that's that's because uh it says they shall be ashamed of their they shall, shall try to please them see right it's just poor. and that's yeah. what Esau does man he but, try to do some good things oh, i'll buy you a house i buy you a car do this because he's trying to make amends so to speak well they'll be nice until it's time for them to do their wickedness like yeah. that girl that girl that was in the army uh, uh she was in some force i don't know if it was the army or somewhere she was with a lot of men she was probably with seven or eight men and they were going out drinking okay and she was scared for her life she she said something on the video she was scared but the next day she ended up in, yeah she was in the army because they had ranked her or did something to violate her uh -huh. and she was talking about going to the uh to the up to the superiors yeah she, she ended up dead yeah that. okay yeah because if, if, if legit come up missing so what yeah. but let it might come up missing man they're gonna turn the whole uh, world upside down helicopters out yep yeah amber that's alert that's that one woman yeah. from florida amber alert. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh right. Yeah. They say she committed suicide. She uh, she smothered. She suffocated herself. What? It's impossible to suffocate yourself. Nah, your body's gonna forcibly make you stop. Exactly. You know. Chair right there. Shalom. 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 Oh, yeah. uh, uh, the book of Psalms 10 and, and uh, 7. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. Did we lose? We just finished the gospel. No, we just finished the gospel today. I'm sorry. I, I ain't on topic, but I'm thinking like, you know, Lord, so, you know, we did right. Man. We did good. Go ahead, my bad. It says, uh, his mouth is full of cursing and deceit. And fraud under his tongue is mischief and vanity. Yes. That's why you can't go wrong if you don't never trust him. Right. If you don't believe none of the madness he's saying, you're good. Yeah. Fuck him. Because he ain't full of deceit. They lie for no reason. That's their makeup. Yeah. You know, I used to believe, believe back in the day, uh, until I came out here, uh, that my mom used to cook rice. And she said she, she used to 
taking and, and straining more, uh, take the water out of it to take the starch out of it, right? But the rice itself is a starch, yep. okay? <laughs> Yeah, that's the cool. whole thing is a starch, man. Right. You can't take starch out right. of starch. Right. You have to throw the thing away, man, right. <laughs> in order to get rid of the starch. Right. And that's what the Most High is going to do with this evil uh, creature that he made, right. Esau. Yeah. It's not like we're going to, in the kingdom, we're going to whoop the evil out of him. Right. No. no, this thing is just evil. It's evil. No matter what you do. That's right. In the Revelation, it says that they should not repent, even yeah. after they get taken down and they're in chains. They're right. not going to repent. They're not going to change, man. Right. They can't change because the Most High made them crooked. crooked. He made them the wicked, the wicked. Our people are wicked, but they are the wicked. Right. Okay. Right. Gotcha. This is uh. Jeremiah 13 and 23. Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard in his spots? That's talking about Esau, man. Okay. Then may he also do good that are accustomed to do evil. Man. Yeah, Esau is accustomed to evil. As you said, that's his genetic makeup. That's what the Lord created him to be. It's the wicked. You know? Look at our strange from the moon, man. He was right. born speaking lies. Alright? So there's no point in trying to change this man or trying to follow after this man. Or go down to Egypt for help in that day. Man. And he don't want to change. That's right. Mm -hmm. You don't want to change. He'll kill you if you try to change it. Yeah. Hey, even if he tried, the Lord programmed him to be evil and wicked. Exactly. You know, the wicked are created for the day of evil. There you go. They're programmed to, to be that way. So he's a creation of the Most High. Like in like that scripture you're quoting, uh -huh. I have created all things for, for myself, myself. Even, even the, the wicked, wicked for the, for the day, day of evil. evil. Man. Just like every other, other creature. They, they, after they died or born again, they, they, they do the same thing. Like, hey, it's always going to be an ant. Yep. Yeah. That bird is always going to be a bird. Watch Cut. that movie, Dog Purpose. Hey, them, yeah. Uh, yeah. A, lot, yeah. a dog, Cut. a lion. Yeah. They ain't gonna be, you ain't going to better change their nature. Hey, you know, it's crazy. People be like, he must have been a lion in this past mm. life to a dog. No, he mm. was a dog. Yeah, he was a dog, man. I'm not out of here with that shit. Right. What's wrong with people, man? Yeah. yeah. Thing on, uh, Elamites yeah. talking about that's my ancestor. What? That's your father. What? Or a butterfly. Right. That's my grandpa. Get your ass out of here, man. <laughs> this your grandpa's in the spirit world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The Lord even had it to wear a certain time goes by before you can come back down. Right. Yeah, With the up. animals. They right back. They right, right back. back. They man. perfect. Yeah, yeah, that's why people are oh, dogs go to heaven. No. Yeah, he no. go, he go, he there's a puppy, there's there's already uh there's already uh the Lord's already had another two dogs that, that, that are that are mating so that when this dog dies, uh -huh. go that dog. You know? Hey bro, perfect example, the brother you wanted on. He got he got back the same dog that he had that died, bro. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah bro. Believe that? Yeah, bro. The dog comes back acting the same way, look the same. Yeah, same it's dog. possible, man. Same spirit. I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm saying, hey. bro, he has like the same spirit. It's uh, crazy, bro. Uh, what's that reincarnation? That's why you know the thing goes down, man. Don't you feel sorry for your family. You're right. gonna bring your family back to the kingdom, man. You gotta focus right. on your salvation. Right. Bringing them back anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Esau. Most High got a special death in Esau. That's right. He's going to eliminate that wicked seed, man, and filter it back through the other nations. Man. Okay. Well, we're gonna know. Yeah. We're gonna see how he done. Oh, he used to be Edomite. He said, what? What's the Edomite? Don't worry about it. <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> exactly. Because the guy let you know how to smack you, but what? You don't smack me, you know? Exactly. Hey, it was some verification going on today, though. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. Every week. More examples of our people who have that lack of knowledge. Uh -huh. They are destroyed because of it. You know? Yeah. And this is not the time to have a lack of knowledge. This is to, it's the time of knowing. Oh, man, the knowledge is overflowing. Right? Yeah. Right. As the scripture says, they that um, observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. So a lot of our people, they're too busy listening to all these doctrine 
that they're forsaking their own mercy, man. That's why the Lord said, I will set up pastors according to my heart. Right. That's what feeds you with knowledge and understanding. Yeah. You gotta be according to, to, to the Lord's heart, man. You know, we got the truth, man. You know? Yeah. Shit, without the Messiah, there's no grace. Without the Messiah, there's no salvation. Man. Well, what do? He saw the fun exterminate us, man. We had this, we won't have this knowledge. Yeah, we, we wouldn't even have the knowledge, bro. We wouldn't know who we were. Man. Think we won't have it. no access to the Father. Mm -hmm. We'll be influenced by this world. Man. We'll be true. And yet you have our people that do not want to accept Yahweh Shai. We're probably the same ones back there that that that, that didn't want to accept him. That had a problem with, with him him uh saying uh he forgives sins. Uh -huh. Had a problem with him doing miracles. Uh -huh. If they could have denied the miracles that Yahweh was doing. Yeah, hey. Satan, yeah. yeah. Uh, jo uh, John th the third chapter Nicodemus, Yahweh Shah's secret disciple, he said, Thou art surely the son of Yahweh. Because no man can do these miracles. Who else uh -huh. can do these miracles? Yeah, uh, I, I, I read I forgot the account. Uh, but when I wish I healed the blind, he was the first man that came on earth that was healing the blind. No one before him ever, ever did that, man. Uh, 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 John the ninth chapter. All right. Man. Wait, I think. So, not, so that shows you that there's real credit. Yeah. Because yeah. people here today that didn't that didn't accept you, I wish I didn't back there they were back they were back yeah. then it wasn't john the ninth chapter because the disciples said lord did he sin or did his parents sin yeah that he was born blind it was john the ninth chapter and they made a big old deal about it you know uh -huh. who healed you who did this who did that they even called the parents to yeah he was like man this man's of age you go out <laughs> Shit. but that lady that came up here was a prime example of how our people, no matter what you tell them, no matter how, how the scriptures come out, they're just dead set on not believing the Lord. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm hard -headed. Hmm? Burn seared with a hot, hot heart. Right. They don't want to listen. They're hard headed, man. Yeah. They're not going to listen. Just, we can break it down clear as day, but they're just not going to accept it. They're yeah. going to ask another question. Or they're not, they're not going to hear it. They're just going to keep on talking. This is why we're not out here to force them to believe. Right. All we can do is give them the message. Or, or warn them. If they don't, it's on them. Blows off our hands. Yeah. Yeah, that, okay. that's, that's what the scripture says. This sin could only be purged out by death. Right. Yeah. I yeah. got two scriptures. The, the only way you could get get that out of somebody's mind is put them to death. Yeah. That's what our people need. This <laughs> word can't wash them. They refuse to be washed. So what you gonna do with the Lord, missiles? Wash, the Lord got them blocked off. The Lord said I want to convert them and heal them. That's right. Huh? Right. That's right you gonna wash them in that lake of fire. Man. Okay, that's that other water. <laughs> yep, it's uh, two scriptures. Mark 16 and 16. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Ooh. We know damned goes back to condemn. Yeah. Right, so there's a condemnation coming to you uh, faithless souls. Romans 14 and 23. And he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith, for whatsoever is not of faith is sin. No, we don't sit. The Lord coming, he coming to destroy sinners. Right. Yeah, bro. So that woman was a sinner because yeah. first of all, you ain't got no, no, uh, there's no, there's no forgiveness of sins mm. without believing in uh, the Messiah. Right. How are you, mm. how are you, uh, what's your atonement for your sins, man? Right. And she come up here naming her, saying, oh, I'm supposed to have my head covered in all this madness. But she ain't got it. But she ain't got it. She naming it off. She but knows she's she doing it. wrong. Yeah. Okay. That's what What's she going said, against you? We brought that we, we brought that scripture out here we go about the woman. She right. thought you gonna go to the woman. Oh here we go. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's why the Lord has to waste his placement. The red is ever nine. The place has to be wasted because of their transgressions and their sins. They refuse to hold accountable. They hope refuse to be hold accountable. They don't wanna recognize their sins. So the Lord has to destroy his place. Man, the fire of his jealousy. Scriptures also say you can't put new wine in old bottles. Right. That bitch is an old bottle. Hell yeah. She already, she was already polluted with the madness she got in her brain. You gonna catch her on the other side, girl. Yeah. yeah. That's why I kept saying, see you on the other side, man. That's all good. 
We understand. That's why we're not we're not discouraged that our people don't believe. We understand right. you ain't supposed to believe. Yeah. This is for a certain few. It's 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 uh it's blocked off. You in the dark. If our gospel be hid, it's hid to them that are lost. Yeah. You ain't supposed to get this. It's alright. But you a woman any goddamn way. Yeah. Women don't believe anyway. Yeah. You know? This is the VIP section. Right. <laughs> you can't come in. You know, okay? You don't have that stamp. That's right. You we don't, ain't have, gonna that, lose you don't have that mark. We ain't yeah. losing sleep that you can't understand this. Exactly. We ain't losing sleep that you don't believe in the Messiah. That's on you. Hey. You have to deal with the Messiah at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Let's, get that. let's get that in Isaiah 6. Isaiah 6 and 9. Yeah. Uh, it's the book of Isaiah, chapter 6, verse 9. It says, And he said, Go and tell his people, right. Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, And see ye indeed, but perceive it not. Right. That woman, she saw, but she perceived not. She heard, but she perceived not. She saw the spit. She had a question. You know? But she had no faith. But she wouldn't be able to understand the breakdown. Yeah. You know, talking about there's no sight. Fuck out of here. That's funny. It says, well, there's no salvation for you then. Right. right. There's she no forgiveness of sins for you. She says she's going to see Hey, good luck. Uh, hey, good luck when day one starts. Yeah, good yeah. luck. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Is she going to get on Delta? Uh, Delta. Uh, mm hey. Hey. First class! <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter says they should not escape. See? Shit, you can't put no a plane ticket or a boat in that day. Exactly. You stuck with the judgment. Hey, you this... go over there to Israel, you're going to get blown up over there too. Oh, hey. Ezekiel, Ezekiel 39, the Lord is going to send. Oh, Ezekiel 38 and 39, the Lord is going to send the Russian Gog and Magog to that land. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want to be in that midst of war? She ain't gonna make it over there, bro. I know, I know. The shit gonna pop over here. She ain't gonna be able to access no plane, no nah. ships. First of all, Jake ain't even organized like that. Yeah. To hop on those ships. Get the fuck out of here. What ship? Who ship? Ain't nobody right. got no money for no ship. Yeah. He's probably gonna let you do it anyway. <laughs> it says, yeah. it says, uh, yeah. one man should desire to go into another city. Okay. Can't. Damn. 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 That one brother Ooh, tree. That's a good point. Uh, Apostle, Apostle Tahar, we uploaded about Jacob Shepherd. Yeah. Uh -huh. He said you couldn't go like a few blocks. Yeah, he, he went a few blocks. He said, I got to go back home. Yeah. yeah. So you can See, but she don't know the prophecies. Without, right. the, without the, uh, the New Testament, you're missing a lot, girl. Yeah. Second edge 16 chapter, second edge 15 chapter. You're missing a lot, man. I don't even know she's doing that. That's, why, that's why I brought out uh, uh, no, That's why I brought out that Malachi. Because yep. to, to, to Ooh, show, okay, what is this talking about? You got to go to the New Testament, man. Yeah. Well, them prophecies are all throughout the whole book. Yeah. Old and new. Yeah. Hey, it's like a movie. This brother always brings up the metaphor of a movie. There's a starting scene, the first beginning of the movie. Yep. You get all the origins. Yep. And then you go to the end of the movie. You see how it ends. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's why I told you, you can't jump halfway into the movie. You ain't yeah. understand it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, like when uh, you read the New Testament, it's like halfway. You gotta understand why did the Lord sent his only begotten son. You gotta understand why. A lot of things are broken down. See, you got the middle bro. part too. Mm -hmm. Okay? Every story has a beginning, middle, and an ending. That's yeah. right. Conclusion. Huh? Yeah. Man. This is the ultimate story. Man. Really, our people don't like Yahweh Shai. That's really what it is. Because Yahweh Shai is written of they don't like, Deuteronomy, they don't like, man. They don't like order. They don't. Our people want to no. do what they want to do. You know. Well, I gotta, I gotta take orders from a man. I gotta sit down and just shut up. Yeah. You yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Shut the fuck up. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Mouth silence, man. That's right. Shit. Man, we gonna come up here like, man, this is real men. We're coming up, it's real men that are not of this world, not of this way, we're not going to submit ourselves, we're not going to lower our voice for your ass, man. Yeah, we give a fuck yeah. if you're a woman. That's right. Fuck you. First of all, don't scream it. <laughs> Shit, you should have words up your voice louder, man. Yeah. God damn. 
Yeah. Well, you can't help but be you. That's your spirit. Yeah. What the fuck you, what can you do about that? It's too much masculinity for her. That's what it is. <laughs> Go ahead, alright. We'll wrap it up. It's back in Isaiah 6 and 10. It says, Make the heart of his people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears. Hey, that's why I like it, bro. You got people watching watch the camera. dumbest videos. It'd be like hundreds of thousands, millions. And then on brothers' uh, videos, it's a few, few, you know, even though the Lord is dealing with a few, but it'd be a few uh, people watching. Yes, I because it's supposed to be like that. Man. Yeah, it can Because everybody's ears and their eyes is fixed on this world, you know? Caught up in bullshit. It says, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. So that was a prime example of Most High making her ears heavy. Uh, what is it? Uh, making her heart people fat yeah. and her ears heavy. Uh -huh. Blocking off all that knowledge, man. There's angels standing right there, blocking them from understanding. Yeah, kind Because right? Most High doesn't want her to be, to be uh, uh, converted and be healed. Yeah. Man, that's scary, it's bro. Like the brother was saying, but we're in the time of Acts all over again. Right? We're in the time of Acts being reincarnated. So that woman was probably right there back when you have a shot. Talking about, oh, at least the rabbits. We want the rabbits. Yeah. You know, she was probably right there. Yep. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's when she's here. In America, still alive. She's going to see the son of man. Son of Yahweh. He turned. Bro, her son, bro. Her, her, her son is in the space, trying to go into the space force. You know the Lord is against you. If that happens, shit. Well, let's just that out. Yeah, read it again. Uh, verse 11. Oh, okay. It's uh, Isaiah 6 and 11. Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitants, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. Now we're wasted again. So yeah, our people are going to understand, but by then it's going to be too late. And this is going to touch down. Yeah, with that, you brothers got any uh, scriptures? That's it. Shit, with that, you know, another, another Saturday down, you know, all praises to you. How about Shem? 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 How about How about Shem? 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 How about Shem?